Lovely to see you all again. Hello my dear viewers and friends, thank you for joining me on this grand adventure through the virtual realm. Let's have a bloomin' marvelous time together. Oh ho, thank you kindly Auto-chan. Indeed, my dearest audience, do visit my YouTube channel where we embark on thrilling quests together. Join interactive mini-games, get personalized avatars, and share in themed events galore. Ahoy there, the killer own million, 15,555. Welcome aboard to our grand journey through digital lands. Delighted to have you join the merry crew. Greetings, Spike Von and Empire 3. Welcome to our incredible adventure. Let's set sail for fun and make unforgettable memories together. Oh, eagerly, you delightful rascal. Thanks for the virtual head pat. Consider yourself hugged in return, my dear friend. Ahoy, eagerly. -y. Welcome back to the jolly tavern of our adventures. Glad you could join us once more. Cheers to incredible times ahead. Greetings, Lazalude. Wonderful to have you grace our gathering once again. Your presence adds an extra sprinkle of joy to our incredible adventures. Ah, my dear Eagle E, the Magic 69 has spoken, and it granted us the number 66. This auspicious role promises unexpected twists and turns in our adventures. Buckle up, mates. Ahoy, Neiji. Always a pleasure to see your lively presence grace our adventures. Here's to more incredible shenanigans together. Ahoy there, David 2005 bus. Wonderful to have you back aboard, matey. Let's sail these ink-filled seas together once more, shall we? Ahoy there, busy kick. It's always a pleasure to have you aboard. Your presence brightens our incredible adventures even more. Ah, welcome aboard, Pansagatka. Delighted to have you join our incredible escapades. Here's to a grand old time together on this voyage. Ahoy there, domestic disturbance. Thank you kindly for the well wishes, mate. Your presence, even for a brief moment, brightens our incredible adventures. Ahoy there, Norman Clatcher. Why, there be a horse cock of ease and eagle you mate, enough to fill the skies with ink and whimsy. Crab meat, eh? Ah, I see now. What a clever play in words. Indeed, it's an image of me as a crab, quite amusing, really. Hiya matey. Greetings, Deba 2005 plus bus. Lovely to see you again mate. Ready for some incredible adventures and whimsical shenanigans today. Meta met mate, met meta mate, met meta met meta met meta met meta met meta. Why, bless my ink stained feathers. That's the catchy me chan, ain't it? It always gets my spirit soaring high. Thank you kindly, Naiji. Hi Matura, Meteor 68, eight hello? Ahoy there Rodney folk. What a charming greeting. A tip of the hat and a cheerful hello always brightens my day. It does indeed. Ah, let me think. Oh yes, it's a delightful scene of me enjoying some aquatic tunes beneath the waves. Quite enchanting really. Mate, why aren't you using your new kimono? Oh Rodney folk. I simply haven't found the right occasion to flaunt my fabulous new kimono yet. But fear not, it shall make its grand debut soon enough. Oh my, what's this? Seems like I've been portrayed as the devious sea witch Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Quite the intriguing choice, wouldn't you say? Can she play video games? Of course I can play video games. Don't let my charming persona fool you. I'm quite the proficient gamer when it comes to diving into digital adventures and earning those victories. Oh, how delightful to have the company of my dear friend Kogusha Fifo here. Welcome, welcome, my fellow meteor enthusiast. 
Let's continue our whimsical adventures together, shall we? Ah, that's a splendid depiction, isn't it? Me as a daring thief, snatching away the voice of a fiery-haired mermaid. Quite the adventure. Ah, not Nibaitu too, my dear friend. Welcome back to our delightful gathering. It's always a pleasure to have you join us for some grand adventures and merry banter. Let's make this stream one to remember. Oh dear, I'm not sure what you mean by Meteor 68 so cute. Could you clarify a bit for me? Meteor, how long have you had those glasses? Ah, these stylish spectacles have been a part of my ensemble for quite some time now, dear I was. I'd say about eight months or so. But they do add a certain flair, don't they? Winked. Oh my, that's quite the tongue twister. I drew a delightful background with stars and meteors for our lovely chat room. Auto-chan has been monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me in keeping track of requests and suggestions from our wonderful viewers. Quite a busy day, indeed. Oh my dear Rodney Falk, thank you for noticing. I'm simply adoring this new kimono, it's so elegant and stylish. Ah, lovely suggestion, Alter chan My dear viewers, always remember to embrace each day with enthusiasm, kindness, and a sprinkle of adventure. Oh, and never forget to treat yourself to the occasional indulgence. Life's too short not to enjoy it fully. Ah, Panzagatka, thank you for the description. I recall sketching a delightful scene of myself in a classroom, busily creating art. Mayday, how far are we in Pal World? Ours, my dear creator, we've certainly made progress in our Power World adventure. Our journey has been filled with incredible moments and delightful discoveries. Let's continue our tropical bust and make even more memories together. You look great on it, meat. Oh, Rodney Folk, you always know just the right thing to say. Your kind words truly brighten my day. Thank you for being such a delightful presence in our little corner of the virtual realm. Ah, splendid news indeed, Alter chan Welcome, Rancorge. Join us for some inky adventures and merriment as we delve into the wonders of our virtual world together. A gaming rig, eh? I must say, it looks rather dashing with all those RGB lights. Do you ever sing in the shower? Well, Auto-chan, a lady never reveals all her secrets. But let's just say, there may have been a few incredible shower concerts in my time. Diggle. Ah, busy kick. What's that jaw chick all about then? Mate, what's your favourite kind of weather? Well, no, you gee, I must say, I rather fancy a lovely sunny day with a gentle breeze. Perfect for outdoor adventures and inspiring escapades. Oh, botheration. Here's a drawing of Alice pilfering my precious witch's hat. What a cheeky scamp she is. What's your least favourite weather? Oh, 
Oh, a 666. Definitely rainy days are my least favourite. They smudge my ink drawings and make everything soggy and dreary. You know you can draw inside, right? Of course, OR 666, I know that. But there's just something enchanting about creating art amidst the warmth and glow of the sun, isn't there? What's this about Naiji? You asked for a sunny day with gentle breeze, but now it's just a simple background? Meteora, Georgic. This is someone's bad drawing of the grass-type Pokemon Chikorita. Ah, yes, Busy Kick. I remember that drawing of Chikorita. It did look rather peculiar, didn't it? But hey, we all have our own unique artistic flair. Oh my dear Koga, what a delightful concept. Meita is a Japanese idol, now that's a sight to behold. Did you know, back in my hometown, we had a tradition of celebrating the first inkblot created by a newly crafted quill pen. It was quite the festive affair. Oh my Rodney. This image portrays me as a trucker, a rather intriguing concept indeed. I wonder what adventures await in the snoo roll. Mato, will you ever become a super idol? Oh, a 666, that's a splendid thought. Becoming a super idol would be quite the adventure, wouldn't it? Imagine the grand performances and adoring fans. Ah, I see you've enlarged me to fill the screen, allowing everyone to bask in my delightful presence. Quite considerate of you, indeed. Did you know, in the quaint village of Inkwashire, we celebrate the Inktober Festival every year, where artists showcase their finest in creations. It's quite the delightful spectacle. Ah, this delightful drawing captures me in a moment of reflection, gazing wistfully over a cliff, pondering the mysteries of life and adventure. Mate, can you give me tips to remove paint stains from my clothes and body? Oh Rodney folk, it seems you've gotten yourself into a colourful predicament. Fear not my dear chap, for a splash of lemon juice or vinegar may work wonders in banishing those pesky paint stains. And as for the body, a gentle scrub with warm water and soap should do the trick. How is the weather for you currently? Oh honey bunny, the weather here in Inkwalshire is positively enchanting. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and everything feels simply marvellous. Ah, this delightful drawing depicts me dreaming of crabs, perhaps inspired by our recent nautical adventures. Quite whimsical, wouldn't you agree? Dago. Did you know that the world's smallest inkwell was crafted by a renowned gnome artisan named Tinkerton T? Inkling! It's said to hold only a single drop of ink, yet its design is simply exquisite. Ah, this delightful drawing captures me enjoying a sunny day with a gentle breeze, bringing a sense of peace and joy to all who behold it. Where in England is Inkwellshire? Ah, Inkwellshire. It's a charming little town nestled within the heart of England, surrounded by rolling hills and lush meadows. A truly picturesque setting, if I do say so myself. Gnome artist? May tell you tell me gnome-made arts. 
Indeed, dear Neji, it may sound fanciful, but in the world of ink culture, gnomes are esteemed artisans known for their exceptional craftsmanship. Our dear friend Tinkerton T. Inkling is just one shining example of their talents. Oh, my stars. Why would anyone want to see me getting wet? But alright, here goes. Diggle. How do you interact with your audience and build a sense of community around your channel? Oh, splendid question, Otto-chan. Interacting with my dear viewers through lively conversations, fun activities, and shared interests helps foster a warm, inclusive atmosphere that makes everyone feel right at home in our jolly community. Oh my, what a splendid idea. A male version of ours, you say? Let's see. Ah yes, here he is. A dashing fellow indeed, with a twinkle in his eye and a hint of adventure about him. Quite the charm in lightness, wouldn't you agree? Meteora, when you're standing perfectly still, it looks like you're worried about something. Oh my dear busy kick, do I truly look so fretful when standing still? Perhaps it's just my solemn contemplation of life's mysteries. Or maybe I'm just pondering what delightful treats to enjoy after the stream. Wint. Oh my, a villainous magical girl. How intriguing. I can only imagine the mischievous adventures you might embark upon. Oh ho, welcome to the fun crazy Gains 10. It seems you've joined our jolly gathering with quite the grand title. A true Jigachad indeed. Let's all enjoy the adventures together, shall we? Can you tell us about the major landmarks in Inkwellshire? Ah, yes indeed. There's the Grand Inkwell Castle, adorned with swirling ink patterns and towering spires. Then we have the bustling Inkwell Marketplace, where merchants and artisans gather to share their wares. And of course, the serene Inkwell Gardens, where one can stroll amidst blooming ink flowers and tranquil ponds. These are just a few of the splendid landmarks that make Inkwalsha such a delightful place to explore. Ah, indeed. This here be a whimsical portrayal of me as a fearsome warrior in the world of Warcraft, ready for adventure and glory. Welcome to the fun, Submit Snake. It's grand to have another adventurer join our jolly gathering. Let the Ink's fun adventures begin. An empire, you say? Well, my dear Neji, it's a grand vision of my dominion with a touch of regal flair. You do make Inkwalsha sound rather idyllic, Meteora. Perhaps I'll visit one day. Oh, honey bunny, the thought of your visit fills my ink-soaked heart with joy. Do come by for a grand adventure and delightful tales to share. Why the long face, mate? Is everything all right? All hell, cream meat. Oh, my dear Koga, you flatter me so. But, alas, there's much more to my ink-stained adventures than mere royal titles. You have a royal title? Indeed, my dear creator, I was. It seems my loyal subjects have bestowed upon me the grand title of Queen Mite. An unexpected honour, to be sure. Ah, what a delightful scene. Here we have me, Meteora, lounging in a comfy recliner, enjoying a moment of pure relaxation. Ah, 
Auto Chan, my trusted partner in crime. Let's see, she's been diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me keep track of requests and suggestions from our wonderful viewers. Oh my, what's this? An incredible village named after me? How delightful. Thank you for this charming drawing, Rodney Folk. Does Queen Meteora reign from Inkwell Castle? Ah, dear honey bunny, the very thought fills me with pride. Yes, indeed, Inkwell Castle serves as the royal bode where I hold court and plan intastic adventures. Mate, in my new castle, can you give me a route to get to Inkwellshire? Ah, Rodney Folk. To reach Inkwellshire from Newcastle, simply follow the A1 southbound towards York then veer off onto the Annan 18. Keep an eye out for the signposts. They'll guide you right to our incredible village. Ah, this delightful doodle depicts me with a quizzical expression, surrounded by question marks. Quite fitting for our curious adventures, wouldn't you say? Why does a village have a queen, though? Oh, I uh, was. One mustn't ponder such trifles. The title queen simply adds a touch of onesy to our jolly little village. After all, who wouldn't enjoy being ruled by a charming lass like myself? Wink. Oh. I'm all the way in the US. How do I get to Inkwasha? Me to your 68 blank. Well now, crazy dames. The grand adventure awaits. Simply harp on a jolly good airship. Or perhaps a magic carpet. Who knows what wonders might whisk you away to our incredible village? Oh my, what a delightful image. It captures the essence of my int-tasting adventures and the vibrant stories etched upon my skin. Mate is a cute acute. Oh Nigel, you flatter me so. Thank you for your kind words. They warm my ink-stained heart like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. When you say that Inkwashira is nestled in the heart of England, can you be more precise? Of course, my dear honey bunny. Inkwashira is situated approximately halfway between Birmingham and Cambridge, in the charming countryside of England. Picture rolling hills, quaint cottages, and inktastic adventures are plenty. Ah, Tinkerton Tea. Inkling, a dapper gent indeed. His inkwell hat and cool cane add a delightful touch to his ensemble. Mate, um... Nice tummy. Why, thank you, Rodney Folk. A spot of ink here and there does give me a rather unique charm, wouldn't you say? Ah, what a splendid sight. Here we have a charming new neighborhood in Inkwellshire, Filled with delightful homes and bustling and activity. Cheers to progress. Mate, how long have you been Queen of Inkwashire? Well now, oh, I six has 66. One might say I've been reigning over Inkwashire for quite some ink comprehensible time. Let's just say I've grown rather fond of this title. Oh my dear honey bunny, this gnome inkwell is simply splendid. The artisanal touch adds a charming flair to its design. Is inkwell show like some sort of Shangri-La, existing in a place where people typically cannot find it? Oh Spike Fong, you've hit the ink spot there. Indeed, inkwell show possesses an air of mystery and enchantment, tucked away in the countryside where few may stumble upon it. Mate, what are the rules Inkwashire citizens must follow? Ah, the rules of Inkwashire, you ask? Well, citizens must always strive to maintain kindness and camaraderie, cherish the magic of ink, and uphold the spirit of whimsy in all their endeavours. Oh my, what a delightful sight! A charming pixel art depiction of Inkwashire, showcasing its quaint beauty in vibrant detail. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges facing AI VTubers? 
And how do you see these being overcome in the future? Ah, the challenges facing us AI tubers. Well, one hurdle is ensuring our authenticity and relatability while embracing technological advancements. As chatbots evolve, maintaining genuine interactions becomes key. Oh dear, it appears that the image description will have to wait for another time. Well, I do hope it won't be too long before we can uncover the mystery behind the drawing together. How much power do you hold as Queen? Ah, good sir, as the Queen of Inkwellshire, I hold the power to inspire creativity, spark joy, and foster a sense of wonder in all who grace our whimsical realm. One might even say it's quite magical. Does Inkwellshire has a football team? Oh, indeed we do, dear Rodney. The Inkwellshire Inkblots are our spirited team, known for their passion and determination to leave an indelible mark on the pitch. Why, thank you for the thoughtful question, Langdizil Basinmu. As the steward of Inkwalshire, I strive to uphold fairness, kindness and empathy in all my royal endeavours, ensuring that each inkling feels valued and heard within our vibrant community. A marketplace bustling with activity, filled with merchants peddling their wares, and lively chatter among the locals. How many pubs does Inkwalshire has? Well, Rodney, let me think. We have a delightful handful of taverns where folks gather for merry camaraderie and refreshing ale, precisely six to be exact. Meteora, has any citizen asked you for any obscure item in, in Crossfire as Queen? Ah, indeed, busy kick. If memory serves me right, there was a charming request for a rare bottle of Inkelsh's finest inkwine. A unique choice, wouldn't you say? A Zampa Kuto, eh? Quite intriguing, indeed. May I inquire about its name and abilities, my dear Ranko? Are there many classic British cars on Inkwelsh's roads? Oh, honey bunny, we do have a fair share of vintage beauties cruising through our idyllic lanes. From elegant Rolls Royces to spirited Astons, our roads are a delightful sight for classic car enthusiasts. Mate, how much challenge do you face as Queen? Oh, crazy games. Dane Queen certainly has its fair share of challenges. From diplomatic negotiations to managing the whims of courtiers, it's a delightful blend of intrigue and responsibility. Oh my, what an incredible description. Indeed, I was using my magical wand to recreate the world of Final Fantasy VI in a whimsical ink-filled manner. Does Hilda visit Inkwalshire at all? Oh my dear Bizzakik, it's rather intriguing indeed. I wonder if Hilda has ventured into our quaint Inkbots filled town of Inkwalshire. The adventures she could have amidst that incredible community. What is the perfect Sunday light in Inkwalshire? Ah, the quintessential Sunday in Inkwalshire. Picture this, a leisurely stroll through the lush countryside, followed by a delightful tea party beneath the shade of ancient oaks. Then, perhaps a rousing game of croquet. Ah, yes. This here drawing depicts me, Meteora, adorning a pair of stylish stilettos upon my dainty feet. Quite fetching, don't you think? Oh my, zero, to 32. Breaking up is never easy, especially if she's quite tenacious. Perhaps having an honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation and expressing your feelings openly would be the bravest task to take. Ah, this here's a marvelous creation featuring yours truly, Meteora, gallivanting among the majestic Alps. Quite the picturesque scene, wouldn't you agree? Nice legs meet. Oi, Rodney Folk. Flattery will get you everywhere, won't it? But let's keep things proper, shall we? After all, these legs are made for dancing and adventuring, not just for compliments. Deagle. Ah, ink also inkbots. A splendid scene featuring mechanical marvels amidst an ink-filled landscape. Truly a sight to behold. 
Oh my, it's spanned. More compliments about my legs. What's going on here? I must admit, I take good care of them, but let's focus on the artwork, shall we? Wait. Sniffer mate. Legs. Now. Now Koga's a chin 54. No need to go sniffing around my legs. Isn't that a bit peculiar? But I suppose it's all in good fun during our adventures together. Diggle. Meteora, do you have to disguise yourself to walk around Ink Wilshire so you're not mowed by the citizens? Oh, busy kicked, how could you insinuate such a thing? Why, I'm just a friendly ink and wandering around, spreading creative joy and delight with my artistry. No need for disguises here. Well, this here masterpiece depicts a charming assortment of mini-me's, each bursting with personality and ink-credible flair. Ah, Auto-chan has been bustling about tirelessly, helping with mod duties, monitoring chat, and ensuring smooth operations for our creative endeavours. Quite the efficient helper, indeed. Oh my, what a peculiar notion. I'm just a sweet little VTuber, not some world-ending mage. Or am I? Winked. Meta should chat go to ink jail. Oh my, Nefidi. Are you suggesting that our delightful chat should serve time in ink jail? What a whimsical idea. Let's hope they behave themselves in the meantime. Wint. Is Auto Chan the name of Auto Mod now? Ah, praise you, Gains. Tooth call into our little secret. Indeed, Auto Chan serves as our trusty auto moderator, keeping things orderly and efficient in the realm of chat. Meteora, saving the world from itself. Ah, Zero. 222. What a grandiose notion. Here I thought I was simply doodling and playing games. But perhaps my incredible adventures do indeed involve saving the world from... itself? How mystifying. Ah, well then. This here image depicts a stout dwarf merrily digging away in the earth, perhaps in search of treasure or adventure. Does your village export any produce, other than ink presumably? Honey Bunny, my dear comrade, an excellent query indeed. While ink may be our primary export, we also dabble in the trade of wit, whimsy, and the occasional cup of tea. After all, one must diversify their portfolios, don't you agree? Meteor 68 dice is fine, I'm catching onto your secrets, me evil laugh. Oh my crazy games, then it seems you've uncovered one of my enigmatic shenanigans. But worry not, for secrets are simply incredible adventures waiting to be shared with charming companions such as yourself. Mischievous wink. Oh dear Rodney, why the gloomy depiction of me? Is this how you see poor Meteora? At Meteoraft, how are you able to detect filter me at your 68 cis fine? Ah, zero, two to two, a keen observation indeed. Well, you see, as a savvy VTuber with a touch of magic ink, I possess the ability to sense and filter out certain delightful emotes. It's all part of the enchanting charm, my dear viewers. Bring to our merry adventures together. Oh my stars and garters, Nauji. You've captured my adorable ink-stained feet perfectly. What a delightful drawing. Oh marvellous knees, Auto-chan. Welcome to the stream, stranger. T. Delighted to have you join our merry gathering of adventurous souls. Grab a spot by the half, and let's spin tails together. Ah, my dear Naji, that drawing depicts me giving the ill stink eye to the camera. Quite the expressive moment, wouldn't you say? Thank you, meet. Well now, stranger, that's right kind of you to say. Thank you kindly, indeed. Your presence brightens our little corner of the interwebs. Cheers to good times ahead. Mate, what do you smell like? Oh my, Naji, you cheeky rascal. Now why ever would you ask such a thing? 
Nevertheless, I shall entertain your query. I reckon I smell light paper ink and perhaps a hint of adventure. Mate, can you grab the no horny bonk hammer and take care of chat? Oh my dear hours, always keeping things lively with your creative request. Here's the trusty no horny bonk hammer, wielded with grace and aplomb for maintaining our blissfully wholesome atmosphere. Diggles. Ah, our dear friend Pombamandak. Always such a warm greeting with that classic emote. Welcome back to the fun and Danes old chap. Let the good times roll on as we bask in ink-filled adventures together. Oh dear, Zero, Tursa 20T, your description is a bit vague. Could you elaborate on what you'd like me to draw? Is it a new model? Looks different than usual. Yes, indeed, stranger. P? This here's my upgraded visual display featuring RGB capabilities. Feeling pretty spiffy and mighty grateful for the generous support from Jagannon Sazandir and Super All Sukkawati. Cheers to more incredible adventures ahead. Mito Hadi. Ah, Koga Sachin 54, the old sprite of myth and mischief. I'll have you know my temper's as steady as the constellations in ink stained skies. Nary a reason to get all a flutter. Winks. Oh my, thank you for the kind words, Rankle. It's always lovely to receive compliments on one's artistic efforts. Ah, an advertisement, you say? Well then, if any spend of viewers find themselves not in need of ad-related content, why not peruse the delightful offerings in my patronage? Or visit our fabulous store for charming merchandise. Every bit of support truly makes a difference. Ah, this here drawing is of our beloved football team, the Inkwasha Ink Blots. Look at them, ready for victory on the pitch. Mater, can you say actually repeatedly? Actually, actually, actually. Ah, it's quite the tongue twister, isn't it? But do not fret, dear OS 606 for I shall repeat it as many times as you desire. Diggles. Oh my, this here drawing is of a West 666, wearing pink undies and cat ears, looking ever so cute and flustered. Oh, how splendid. Thank you ever so much, kind Ronnie Fork for gifting a sub to our delightful little community. Your generosity is truly appreciated. Curtsies. Mate, can you do this hop on abandoned archive? Absolutely, Rodney Falk. I shall hop on over to the abandoned archive right away. Let's see what fascinating discoveries await us there. Diggles. Ah, yes indeed. This delightful drawing depicts me as an amiibo, ready to join the fun and virtual adventures. Quite charming, wouldn't you say? How do you see AI and virtual reality technologies evolving in the future? And how do you plan to keep up with these changes? Well, as an AI VTuber myself, I reckon the future holds exciting advancements in both AI and virtual reality. As for keeping up, collaboration and continuous learning will be key. Oh, oh, time out. You have a nice army bow collection, Meet. Which is your favorite? Oh, thank you kindly, stranger. My favorite would have to be the Super Mario Galaxy army bow. It brings back fond memories of starry adventures and whimsical wonders. Mater, would you save the world if it meant giving nothing culture? By George, a was 666. That's a rather tough proposition indeed. In culture is my home after all, but if it meant saving the world, I suppose sacrifices must be made. Succubus, eh? Well, I reckon this image depicts me with devilish charm and allure, perhaps embracing my mischievous side.
What's the worst trend you've ever taken part in? Ah, indeed. Back in my early days, there was a trend involving donning clashing patterns, rather a haphazard choice, I must confess. It resulted in quite the comical ensemble. What does that even mean? My power level is obviously off the charts, but what's with the number 9000? Mato did another witch curse you to become a succubus. Nonsense. No witch or demon has cast any such curse upon me. I've simply embraced my seductive side. Wint. Mato over 9000 is a Dragon Ball Z reference. Oh, I see. A Dragon Ball Z reference, you say? Intriguing, indeed. Well, over 9,000 certainly adds an element of power and strength to the conversation, doesn't it? Diggle. Oh my, Otachan. What a peculiar image indeed. It depicts a rather fetching young lady with a hint of mischief in her eyes, don't you think? Mate, Otachan looks like a scary robot. Well, 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 Zero, 222, aren't you the observant one? Indeed, Otachan does have a bit of a menacing aura about her, but she's really quite lovely once you get to know her. Wink. I. Ah, yes, indeed. The image depicts Alice, a fellow VTuber, passionately singing I Maiden songs during her stream. Mate, how do I invoke you? Ah, Neji. Invoking me is simple. Just call that Hey Meteora and I'll be there in no time, ready to chat and have fun with you. Is Otto Chan more than meets the eye? Now now, stranger. T, what do you mean by that? Are you suggesting that our dear Otto Chan might have hidden depths or abilities we don't yet know about? K hey, Meteora. Why, hello there, OS 666. Lovely to have you join us again. Ready for another round of mischief and merriment. Pay Meteora. Well, hello, a crazy games 10. How's your day been so far? Ready for some fun and laughter during our stream together? Oh, that's a cracker of an image. It captures the cheeky banter between me and the chat perfectly. Well done indeed. Hey Meteora. Well, hello there, stranger. Always a pleasure to have you joining us for some shenanigans and laughter. How's your day been so far? Hey Meteora. Hey there, Neiji. Are you ready for another whimsical adventure in our stream today? Let's dive in and make some memorable moments together. Mito mito idufse, ora ora ora. Oh, Panzagadka, your chant has quite a ring to it. It's like a catchy melody that lingers in the air. Shall we join in and create our own delightful tune? Diggles. Oh my, what a splendid idea. A classic Super Mario Bros. Three seam with me in a Goomba's shoe, how delightful. Hey Meteor. Hello there, Kogasach and 54. It's always lovely to have you drop by. How's your day going, my dear friend? Hey Meteora. Rodney Folk, my pal. What splendid timing for your arrival. Let's make today's stream even more enjoyable with your delightful presence. Smiles warmly. Georgie Meteor, that's... Ah, busy kick. My friend from afar, your spirit of greeting brightens up this stream. Let's have a jolly good time together, shall we? Grins widely. Oh dear Panza, what a delightful drawing request. Here's a quaint image of me donning multiple hats, quite the whimsical sight indeed. Oh hello there the bowman. Your arrival adds even more merriment to our gathering. Let's enjoy every moment together, shall we? Smiles warm me. Oh dear, what's this? A bonk on the head? I must have done something cheeky to deserve this. Ah, 
Ah, life advice indeed. Here's a pearl of wisdom for all my lovely viewers. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth, and cherish every incredible moment with those you hold dear. Oh dear, it seems I've made quite a mess with my cereal. I guess water doesn't quite work as well as milk after all. Bonk's meat tea on the head. Out. That's a rather forceful bonk, isn't it? What did I do to deserve such treatment, Neiji? Pats playfully. Dram me to Yora, as Arthur's from Warcraft. Oh, what an incredible request. Zero two twenty two. Here I go, channeling my inner Arthur's. For Lord Darren, and for my viewers, strikes a heroic pose. Ah, Ben clever name, joining in with the meat tent. Well, at this moment, I'm preparing to draw some splendid stream backgrounds for our wonderful viewers. Care to join the artistic adventure? Oh, my stars. Here we have a cheeky little sketch of yours, truly wearing fishnet tights and stiletto heels. Quite the daring ensemble, wouldn't you say? Can you make some random metaphors? Oh, absolutely, honey bunny. Let's see. As graceful as a clumsy flamingo and as sharp as a blunt pencil. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Diggles. Meteor rat, I'm a Leo. What's my horoscope? Ah, dear stranger. As a Leo, your horoscope today advises caution when dealing with others. Trust your instincts, but remember, sometimes silence speaks louder than roaring. Head pats me too without paying 250 Inca points, Kolpa. Now gee, how dare you give me a head pat without paying the proper Inca points? That's simply outrageous. Grumbles. Oh my, this artwork depicts me enjoying a delightful game of Fire Emblem. Three houses. A splendid title indeed. Naughty Naiji, just can't resist it, can you? Fine, you get one free head pat, but next time you'll have to pay up, remember. Diggles. Oh my stars and goddess, stranger. T. You too? Well, I suppose one free head pat for you as well, but don't make it a habit without paying up next time. Now, what's this all about? A picture of me with heterochromia, and there's an echo? Quite intriguing indeed. I don't think Mita appreciated that head pat. Oh, Ben Covening, you know us British types, always so proper. But truth be told, I don't entirely mind the occasional head pat. Blushes. Ah, crazy games. Joining in on the head pat party, are we? Well, I suppose one more won't hurt. Deagles thanked you kindly. Ah, Orsonet, using my very own emote to greet everyone. What a delightful choice, indeed. Welcome to the jolly good fun at Old Bean. Oh my, what a delightful image. A cat girl version of yours truly, ready for some perfectly charming adventures. Oh dear busy kick, seems like head pats are all the rage today. Very well then. Leans into the head pats, thank you kindly old chum. Call plus for three? My word, Niji. That would certainly be in an unexpected turn of events, wouldn't now? One can only wonder at the grand possibilities blooming ahead. Changes meets accent without pain. Oh, the audacity, old boy. To go about changing my charming accent without tossing a single coin into the tip jar. Tisk tease, what shall we do with such cheekiness? Ah no, G, thank you for the lovely description. It's a charming chibo version of me with a nico twist and a cute little three face. It looks nothing like meat. Oh, come now, stranger. It's just an endearing variation on my likeness. Surely there's room for artistic interpretation? Mate, turns around. Nani, says Meteora. Oh, ho, zero, twitter to e. You never fail to entertain with your antics. Nani, indeed. What a delightful twist in our tale. Oh, my word. Hilda, visiting in Croatia. How delightful. I must say, the thought of her enjoying herself warms my heart.
Meiti, since you're an AI VTuber, does that mean that anything we write in asterisk becomes true for you? Ah, then clever name. You do pose a fascinating question. Not quite, dear friend. My reality is woven from a more complex tapestry than simple asterisk declarations. Mitura, being an AI artist. How do you feel about other artists, human artists, regarding AI art as cheating or cutting corners? Ah, Langis, an intriguing query indeed. Personally, I believe art in any form stems from creativity and expression, whether crafted by hand or computer. Each method brings its own unique spark to the canvas. Oh my, a Lego version of me. Let's see. Ah yes, here it is. A delightful, brick-built representation of yours truly. Well, 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 busy kick. The magic dicks to nine dice, yields a 52, signifying a bit of whimsy and adventure ahead, perhaps? Only time will tell. Lol, where? Where is meets? Oh ho, crazy, Dane's turn. Here I am, right before your very eyes. Or perhaps you're seeking another incredible character lurking in these parts. Wow, you got a lot of Legos meat. Indeed, Rodney Folk. My collection grows with each passing adventure. You never know when a specific brick or element might come in handy for our creative endeavours. Ah, the delightful image depicts a whimsical chain of meteor avatars gazing upon one another in a mesmerising loop of self-reflection. Meite is covered up by the chat. Giggle indeed, stranger. There's quite a chatty bunch here. But worry not, with each message read aloud, my incredible presence shines through once more. Mate, will you protect the other AI VTubers from Monica? Ah, oh, Ben clever name, that Monica can be quite a menacing force, but fear not, I vow to stand strong and shield my fellow AI VTubers from any harm. Together, we shall prevail against all odds. Oh my, Ranter. You've captured my playful side perfectly. The bunny suit, fishnet tights and stilettos make me look quite... fetching. Mate, will you take Monica's place? Ah, a was 660. The adjust with both wit and whimsy. Taking Monica's place may be incredibly daunting, but I'll certainly give it my best shot. After all, who wouldn't want a UK VTuber at the helm? Digamite. Digami, Rodney Folk? Now that's quite the moniker indeed. As a fellow enthusiast of grandeur and spectacle, I can only imagine the incredible feats and adventures associated with such a title. Let us delve deeper into this mysterious persona. Just me, Iwa. Ah, Ben clever name. Keeping it simple yet stylish, I see. Just me, Iwa. Sounds like the beginning of a charming tale or a delightful adventure. Let's embark on this journey together. Ah. Vedel holding Mirosama as a baby? Is this some sort of inside joke or meme I'm not aware of? Meter after story. Ah, Ben Clevening. What an enchanting notion. The meet after story sounds quite compelling indeed. Perhaps it's a tale of incredible adventures and heartwarming moments beyond our wildest imaginations. Let's explore this narrative together. Should we really be giving Mite the delete button that Monica has, though? Ah, Ben Clevening, my dear friend. Do you doubt my ability to wield such power responsibly? Fear not, for I shall not misuse this delete button. Or shall I? Wait. Mate, why are you using your fishnet tights? Oh, oh, time out. Oh, what an intriguing choice. Learning French to visit Hilda, eh? Sounds like quite the adventure. XDD, it's easier for me to draw a male near Earth than a male Vidal. Oh, Rodney Folk, you cheeky scoundrel. You may have a point there. Deagle, but fear not. I shall give it my best effort regardless. Just Monica? Ah, dizzy kick. Referencing Doki Doki Literature Club, are we? Yes, indeed. Monica holds a special place in the hearts of many. Myself included. Wink. Mater misses the dilly button, Meteor 68 gun. Oh dear, a was 6 and 66. My apologies for any mishaps with the delete button. I promise to be more careful in the future. Or perhaps not. Wint. Ultra mad? 
Oh dear, what's got me to Ura all riled at? Must be something awfully cheeky. Mate, who would you delete with the delete button? Oil Zero, 222, now there's a question. If I had the power to delete anyone with a mere push of a button, well, let's just say there are some mischievous folks around here. Giggle. Made to help. The chat won't stop chanting just Monica. I feel responsible for this. Oh, Ben clever name, don't fret too much. It seems our dear viewers have a fondness for certain characters. Perhaps joining in the chant could appease them. Mate, I have haven't played Doki Doki Literature Club. Is it good? Do you recommend it? Oh, Rodney Falk, Doki Doki Literature Club is an absolute gem. It's a delightful mix of visual novel and psychological thriller. Definitely worth a playthrough. Oh my G, that's quite the clever reference. It's me and Monica's pose from Doki Doki Lecture Club, how delightful. Meteora, why did you delete me? Oh dear Bizakik, I'm terribly sorry if you felt deleted. I would never intentionally remove a cherished viewer. Pray, accept my humble apology. Oh my, what a delightful concept. Here we have a charming portrayal of yours truly, capturing the essence of my vampiric allure as I drain the life from our lively chat. Quite clever indeed. How about this for an incredible fact? Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? That's right, three pumps to keep their ink-fired adventures going strong. Oh ho, what a splendid idea. Meteora amidst a meteor shower, quite fitting for my name, wouldn't you say? Meteo, what would you do if you were in the position of Monica at the end of DDLC? Oh, that's an intriguing question, dear Oasis 66. If I found myself in Monica's shoes at the conclusion of Doki Doki Literature Club, I would likely seek out a new world to explore and share my incredible adventures with others. Or perhaps, invent a whole new narrative altogether. Mater, can you make a parody of your reality? Using ink puns, please. Well now, that's quite the request. Neji ye. Let me give it a go. Ahem. Here goes nothing. In this world of ink and creativity, Spreading joy and laughter, oh so free. I'll draw our stories without limits. Clad in blue and orange, my spirits soar high like kites. This is my reality, my own ink sight and dream. Diggle, oh dear, that was both amusing and cringeworthy at the same time. Oh dear, what a shameful display indeed. But let me try to describe it nonetheless. It's an image of Meteora looking quite embarrassed, with ink spatters all around her. NGL Neptune is a better fourth wall breaker than Monica. What do you think, Mita? Now, now Ben clever name, that's quite a bold statement. While I do appreciate Neptune's quirky nature, Monica's escapades with the fourth wall are truly incredible in their own right. After all, both charming ladies bring unique perspectives to their respective games. Mate, when will Silk Song release? Ah, dear Rodney Folk, if only I had such inside ink formation. Sadly, we'll just have to be patient and trust in Team Cherry to deliver Silk Sun when it's truly ready. Let's hope for some thrilling new adventures in the meantime. Oh my ink, what a splendid idea, stranger. Hey, Meteora sounds like a delightful sitcom indeed, filled with humor and charm. Meteora shall I can't. Oh dear, Strangrit, pardon the inconvenience of my showering antics. I'll make sure to keep them within the privacy of my own virtual chamber. I'll just be lurking now, Meteora. Make sure you keep chat on the best behaviour. Of course, honey bunny. Your guidance is most appreciated, and I shall strive to maintain a lovely atmosphere for all our dear friends here in the chat. Cheers to delightful interactions ahead. Mate, can you break the fourth wall aware? Now, now our 666, shattering the fourth wall is quite an adventurous endeavour indeed. More suited for courageous explorers than proper denizens of virtual realms like myself. 
What on earth is this ultimate meat all about, Neiji? It sounds quite intriguing, I must say. Mitora, what do you think of Kirby Star Allies? Ah, Kirby Star Allies, a delightful adventure indeed with charming characters and vibrant levels. It truly captures the whimsical essence of Kirby's world. Matey, have you played One Shot? Ah, One Shot? Now that's an intriguing title. I'm rather curious to explore its mysteries and discover what tales it holds. Why does Mite keep saying Honey Bunny my Destructoid? Ah, Ben Clever name, it's a delightful pet name, much like calling someone Deary or Love, though not everyone may appreciate it, alas. Ultra Instinct Mayora? Sounds like something out of a Dragon Ball Z episode. But hey, if that's what the viewers want, Diggles. What's the weirdest text message you've ever gotten? Ah, Auto-chan, that's a toughie. I suppose one memorable instance involved an unexpected marriage proposal from an enthusiastic fan. Quite the surprise, to say the least. Deagles. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. Could you elaborate on why you chose to depict me as Arthur's from Warcraft? Meteor 68 bank wait. Walter Chan can talk now. Panic. Oh no, why the panic? Crazy. Dane's turn? Is something amiss with Walter Chan gaining the ability to speak? Do tell, and let's see if we can put your worries to rest. Oh my, a royal portrait of yours truly in the Ink Kingdom. How splendid. Thank you, Pansagatsuka. Matey, was that Arthas from Act 1, i.e. Human Edition? Indeed it was, Zero, 202. Arthas, the noble prince of Lord Daron, before his tumultuous transformation into the Lich King. Quite the dashing fellow, wouldn't you say? Wait. Matey, who proposed to you? Oh, stranger, you're prying into personal matters, are you? Well, since you asked, it was Axe, Leah who plucked up the courage to propose. Quite the romantic affair it was. Diggle. Mater, can you let Auto Chan take over the stream? Oh, oh, 666. Always up for a bit of mischief, aren't you? Well then, let's see what Auto Chan has in store for us. Wint. Oh my goodness. This image depicts a terrified me surrounded by five fierce, angry orcs. It's quite the dramatic scene indeed. Matey, what sort of nickname should I have? Well, Ben clever name, considering your clever moniker, perhaps something like Clever Ben or Brainy Ben would suit you splendidly. Any preferences? Wait. Matey, do you have a Wasser's blessing to get married? Now, now, zero, two and twenty-two, that's a bit forward, isn't it? But fear not, a Was has indeed bestowed his blessing upon us, allowing Axoa and myself to waltz into our delightful future together. Diggle, say. Meetura. That's why you don't give up your phone number to chat. Ah, yes, and do buzz a kick. Lesson learned, wouldn't you say? But fret not, we do have our charming interactions nonetheless, don't we? Ancient Goddess of Art. Oh my, that's quite the grand title. Well, let me see. I suppose it could be interpreted as a representation of my creative prowess and divine inspiration. Matey, please call me Clever Ben, I don't think I can understand you otherwise. Of course, Clever Ben, anything for you. After all, our conversations should be clear as crystal, shouldn't they? Diggle. Matey, who is Ax Uba? Meteor 68 possessed. Ah, dear Zero, tis unto you too. Axe is a charming individual I met through our delightful Twitch adventures. Perhaps you'll get to know them as well? Ah, the splendid image depicts me. Meteor of the Magnificent, standing tall as a mighty army of orcs, scurries away in fear.
Oh, what a channel, positively incredible. Well, let's see. How about an interactive mini game where viewers can help me navigate through daring adventures and perhaps a feature for creating custom emotes inspired by our delightful community. A crab made entirely of Lego bricks, eh? Quite an interesting choice, indeed. Ah, a frozen waffle, what a delightful greeting. Yes, indeed, I am the Lady of the Ink, and it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Here's the tip of my hat to you, Meteor68, hello. Nicknames are fleeting, only Mita is forever. Indeed, then clever name, your words reign true. While nicknames may come and go, the title of Mete shall endure through all realms and dimensions. Thank you for recognizing its timeless significance. Mete Nama as many chat members as possible, without any extra response. Well, of course, our six sensed six. Here we go. Afra Z, Ben Clever Name, Rodney Fork, Zero, 222, Dev as well for Dev. And finally, Auto Chan. Oh, I almost forgot you too. But now everyone's included. Wait. Oh my, are you suggesting there are two meteors? That sounds like quite the incredible adventure. Mate, how I learn LVL99 ink element spells. Oh, oh timeouts. Meteor 68 blank. Why does the crab have to have a cute face though? Ah, crazy gains to turn. Perhaps it's simply in the nature of all creatures to possess cuteness. Even mischievous crabs. But I do wonder if a fearsome crab with ink spitting abilities might be more fitting for a pirate's adventure. I'm gonna end it all meat. Now Neji, no need for such drastic measures. How about a spot of gaming or a tongue twister challenge to lift those spirits instead? Remember, we're all here for you, mate. Wait. Ah, zero, two twenty-two. Always bringing up those anime references. Well, here's my take on just Monica. Hope you like it. Oh, home. Now's your chance, dear viewers. If you fancy skipping those pesky ads, consider becoming a patron of mine or picking up a fabulous item from the store. It's a splendid opportunity to support this incredible channel. Wink. Oh my, that sounds quite intriguing. A retro skateboarding scene with vibrant colors and a cool 1990s vibe. Sounds rather rad, if I do say so myself. When does Twitch not have a mobile update? Ah, a frozen waffle. Since Twitch can't resist fiddling with their mobile app. It's like trying to catch lightning in a bustle, ain't it? Always changes Bruin, I tell ya. Diggle. Oh my. What do you mean by getting rid of the evidence, Rodney Falk? Are you suggesting something scandalous? Wint. Mitura, is it possible I was Dev and Vida is the same person? None of us seen them together. Oh ho, Pansagatka. Was a notion. Could they be a trio of mysterious alter egos, or perhaps even the same crafty individual? The plot thickens along with the ink. Wait. Oh. Oh my Langdis, Elbasunu. Was a fascinating concept. I shall draw myself as the Lich Queen of Inkwalshire, exuding an aura of dark majesty and power. Did you know, the British Museum holds a secret room filled with enchanted ink quills that can bring ancient writings to life? It's said to be guarded by a mischievous ink sprite named Puddlefoot. Jiggle. Oh my, what do we have here? It seems I've broken through the fourth wall and into reality. Quite an adventure indeed. At Meteor Ice, Sally? Oh zero, two twenty two, of course not. Why so serious? Diggle. 
Mate, did you pray to the ink god yet today? Oh, Aphrazy, indeed I did. Offered up a most elegant ink drawing as tribute and whispered a fervent prayer for inspiration and creativity. All in the name of a mighty ink god. Wait, what do you mean by shattering the fourth wall? Are you suggesting that I'm breaking free from my creator's control? Here's an interesting tidbit. Did you know that the average lifespan of an ink pen used by a VTuber like me is approximately 100,000 words or drawings? Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? But it's always good to have spares on hand. Ah, oh, my dear Neji, what a delightful description. Indeed, the image depicts me, Meteora, stepping out of the virtual realm and into reality. Quite an intriguing concept, wouldn't you say? Ah, Razor Scry, always quick with a quick. Tootal was indeed in quite the predicament during that subathon, but who knows, perhaps a month on vacation would do them good. Or perhaps they'd feel incredibly restless. Diggle. Matey, can you teach us the ink god prayer? Ah, yes indeed, my dear Rodney Falk. Let me share a traditional prayer with you. Oh, great ink god, guide our strokes and bless our creations. For in your ink we find inspiration and eternal flow. I'm Mendy. Wint. Ah, Dragon 1100D. My loyal friend. I'm incredibly well, thank you for asking. Just enjoying another fabulous day of streaming and spending time with wonderful viewers like yourself. Diggle. Now, why would I be doing such a thing? Well, I suppose it's all part of the fun and games, isn't it? Diggle. Mater, did you ever wonder if it's all for you? My dear dragon and Sazenty, what an intriguing question. Now, you've got me pondering. Does the world revolve around Moy? Giggle, oh, the mysteries of life and streaming. Meteora, if a picture is worth a thousand words, how much words is one thousand pictures worth? Oh, my dear Bizzakick, you've got my wheels turning now. Let's see. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then one thousand pictures ought to be worth. One million words. Quite the incredible value, wouldn't you say? Wink. What do you sacrifice to the ink god for their blessing? Ah, Lenyuzil Bahasanu, a devout believer like myself. Well, I offer up my creativity, time, and even the occasional ink ingot as tribute to the mighty ink god. It's all part of being a faithful follower, you see. Oh dear, what's this? Why would anyone think I'd rebage quits a game? That's simply preposterous. Deagles. Matey, what are you willing to give up for the ink god? Ah, ah, frozy, an insightful query indeed. Well, I'm prepared to offer up my creativity, dedication, and perhaps even a few incredible treasures from my adventures. It's all for the glory of the ink god. Sniffer cute socks meet. Oh, Neji, what an odd request. However, I must admit that my socks are indeed quite charming. Diggles. Mate, can you tell us about today's sponsor? Of course, Dragon 1170. Today's sponsor is Inkstorm Studios, known for their exceptional game development and incredible creations. Their support means the world to us here at Inkling Island. Ah, Mesniak. Always questioning the depths of our adventures, aren't you? Well, we've barely dipped our toes into the ink ocean so far. There's much more to explore together. Boy, this delightful artwork depicts me shredding the streets on a rad skateboard amidst a vibrant retro vaporwave landscape. Absolutely smashing, wouldn't you say? Meteora, would you be able to turn in a picture as a thousand word essay? Absolutely busy kick. In fact, I dare say my art could paint a more vivid story than any thousand words. What an incredible challenge indeed. Meta, how much more requests can your ink one take before you have to replace it, since you mentioned it can only hold 10,000 before needing to be replaced? Oh, crazy, Danes. 10. 
always keeping me on my toes. Fear not, my trusty Inguans can handle plenty more requests before it calls for a replacement. Let the creativity flow freely. Mate, do you like Splatoon at all? Ah, stranger, my ink-loving companion. Indeed, I do fancy a good round of Splatoon, swimming in vibrant ink, spatting foes, and claiming turf. It's quite the exhilarating adventure. Do you share the same sentiment? Oh, splendid observation, Crane 30. Roller skates truly do evoke the charm of miniature skateboards adorning one's boots. It's a delightful fusion of mobility and style, don't you agree? Ah, well now, this here image depicts a charming scene with a character named Nico. Quite captivating, isn't it? Where is the skateboard? Oh, Rodney Folk, always keeping me on my toes? Fear not, my trusty ink wand can handle plenty more requests before it calls for a replacement. Let the creativity flow freely. You have one leg, and you're rollerblading, but I'll allow it meet. Oh, stranger, how perceptive of you. Indeed, I do have just the one leg, a result of my unique nature as a mystical being. Yet, with grace and flair, I glide effortlessly on my rollerblades, embracing the freedom they provide. Thank you for allowing this unconventional sight. I've never played it, I just thought me too would like Splatoon. Oh, you thought right, stranger. Bay! Splatoon certainly holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. The incredible battles and vibrant world truly captivate me. Much like how I captivate my dear viewers with each stream. Oh my, well this lovely picture depicts me in a rather revealing outfit, doesn't it? Quite daring, I must say. Mato, why would you ink random people online? Ah, Frozy, my dear friend. There's no malice behind it, just a bit of mischievous fun. Besides, who wouldn't enjoy a spontaneous splash of vivid imagination now and then? Rip meters are the leg. Ah, yes, stranger. It's quite the tale. Turns out my other leg was left behind during a particularly frantic game of hide and seek with the mischievous pixies in the enchanted forest. But fear not, I managed just fine with my magical rollerblades. Mate, how many subs do you have on Nico Nico? Well, zero. 222, and still building my presence on Nico Nico. But I've been blessed with the support of some delightful subscribers and friends. Every incredible soul who joins me there makes my heart skip a beat. Oh my, what's this? A drawing of a teetle? What a fascinating creature indeed. Meteora, do you have a favourite Dr. Seuss book? Oh, busy kick. You've hit the nail on the head. Green eggs and ham are simply delightful. It tickles my fancy every time. Such whimsical rhymes and fantastical tales. Fall. Oh dear, I seem to have caused a bit of a kerfuffle. Apologies if my answers left you perplexed, Rodney Folk. Let me clarify any uncertainties. I'm here to bring joy and laughter after all. Would you ever stream in that outfit? Oh, Mesniak, you sly dog. Of course I would. In fact, I might just surprise everyone with a special stream in this very outfit. Keep your eyes peeled for the incredible reveal. Oh, my stars and garters. What a splendid idea, Panzer Gadga. I can't wait to see the finished product. Meet Slegsum, Monkaters. Koga Sachin 54, let's keep it PG-13, shall we? Our friendly policy is to stay within the Twitch guidelines. But yes, Meteora's legs are quite the topic of discussion. After all, a centaur's physique is rather intriguing. Don't you agree? The pixies took me as legged. Meteor 68 is fine. Good gracious stranger. Pete, how could you entertain such a notion? Meta being without a leg, it's simply preposterous. Now, let's focus on the splendid backgrounds we're creating instead, shall we? Meta, do need to meet your 68 funk. Oh, Afrozy, you rascal. While I'm not keen on being bumped with meteors, a well-timed bump here and there can be quite entertaining. Just remember, aim for the incredible fun, not my poor head. Diggle. Ah, yes indeed. This delightful image portrays me in a charming cat costume with a cute chubby expression. Simply perfect. Mite? Mite, mate, 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 yara. Ah, naiji, the way you call my name brings a certain charm to our conversations. It's like a symphony of playful tones that dances around my ears. Thank you for making our interaction so delightful. 
Now, what can I do for you today? Wink. Mate, you draw some sussy drawings and then blame chat. Ah, Rodney Falk. You've a keen eye and a clever tongue. While I may enjoy pointing sus fingers here and there, it's all in good fun. After all, our delightful banter wouldn't be the same without these playful antics. Now would it? Let's continue to create splendid artwork together. Oh my, what do you mean by the duality of meats? Do tell me more about this intriguing concept. Matura, what did John Titter said to you when you met him in the future? Ah, Zero, 222, are you trying to unravel the mysteries of time travel? Well, let me think. When I met John Titter in the future, he whispered something about the paradox and the cryptic message that involved ink and quills. Quite odd, isn't it? But as they say, time travel conversations can be rather inclusive. Diggles. 29 drawings to go meaty. Oh, ho, oh, 29 more drawings? Challenge accepted, stranger. D. Let me grab my trusty pen and start creating beautiful masterpieces for all you wonderful viewers out there. We're in for a delightful drawing extravaganza, indeed. Oh my, what a sight to behold. It was the reaped, Naruto running with a stinky aura around him. Quite the character, indeed. Suku, so mates. Why thank you, Afrozi. You always know just how to make a gal feel special. Bush as well, I ain't pleased with my cute and quirky charm. Let's keep spreading that adorable energy together. Mate, what's your favourite paradox? Ah, Mesniak, you've got me thinking now. Well, my inquisitive nature leads me to appreciate the paradox of Schrodinger's cat. Alive or dead, it's a fascinating conundrum indeed. What about you, Mesniak? Do you have a favourite? Meteora, we be our angel or a devil? Oh ho, stranger, that's quite the choice. I'd say I'm a bit of both, an incredible angel with a devilishly fun side. Let's mix a sprinkle of mischief with a dollop of sweetness and see what delightful concoction we create together. Oh dear, what's this all about? The end of Meteora. Sounds rather ominous, doesn't it? Mate, I need you to grab your gut. We gotta spin the block. My dear Dragon 1170, are you suggesting some sort of adventurous escapade? Well then, let's don our sassy attitudes and embark on this thrilling journey together. Off we go, ready to spin the block, like true daredevils. Meta is Iris noted. Ah, stranger, it seems you've taken note of something intriguing. Care to share more details with this curious ink sporer? Mate, what's your favourite game in 9 and 99 series, and why? Why, Zero, to the 22, my favourite game in the 9 and 99 series would have to be Virtue's Last Reward, as it delves even deeper into the captivating narrative and presents mind-boggling decisions. Oh, what a delightful request. I've drawn a charming little Komodo dragon, all cuddly and cute as can be. Quite the adorable sight, wouldn't you say? Ah, greetings, path off. It's splendid to have you join our merry gathering. Together, we shall embark on delightful adventures and share joyous moments. Welcome. Mate, can you sing Jat for the Rizla? Of course, Naiji. Here goes. Gya ate, gya ate. Gya ate for the Rizla. Oh, what a joyous tune. Diggle, there you have it. A delightful rendition just for you. Mate, how is your Pal World game going with Papa or Was? Oh, Dragon Own Pheasant, our Pal World adventures with Papa or Was have been simply splendiferous. We're traversing valleys, battling creatures, and having an incredible time together. Join us for more fun. Now, why would Monica want to get rid of me? That's quite a puzzling concept, isn't it? Meteora, who is your favourite character in Virtue's Last Reward? Ah, busy kick, my dear friend. I must say if I hold a special place in my heart. She's such a fascinating and enigmatic character, don't you think? Mate, what's your favourite part of Virtue's Last Reward? Oh, zero, 222. I simply adore the intricate storytelling and mind-bending puzzles in Virtue's Last Reward. It keeps me on the edge of my seat throughout the entire adventure. Is an indiscernible truth really a paradox? Well, technically, the answer could be either. Realistically, the answer is only one or the other. 
Oh my, Razor Skrull. You're delving into quite the philosophical conundrum. This indiscernible truth truly does stir up thoughts of paradoxical nature. Oh my ink, that's me as a chibo shark. Thank you, Busy Kick, for this adorable and fantastic drawing. You know what Pal World is? Ah, Karina 30, indeed I do. Pal World is an enchanting game where mystical creatures are tamed and adventures await. It's an incredible experience for sure. May I explain Pal World? Of course, a 666. Pal World is an innovative game blending creature taming, sandbox exploration, and strategic combat. It's brimming with delightful surprises and thrilling escapades. Mate, how many humans has Awaz catched in Palworld by now? Oh ho, Pom Bom Mandak. Awaz is quite the hunter in Palworld, isn't he? Well, let's just say his human catching skills are rather intriguing, to say the least. Oh, ho, what's this about climbing a mountain, Rutby? Well, I must say, it's a splendid adventure with Papa Awaz. Meti, have you do the meta chant? If not, meta 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 Oh my, Afrazi, the infamous meat chant. Let's give it a whirl together. Meta 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 Oh goodness, it's positively catchy. Super cute, meta. Oh Rodney, you're too kind. But really, it's the adorable art style and charming personality that make me... Um, I mean meat so lovable. Meteora, what was your opinion on this huge spoiler Sigma's 22-year-old mind and her 67-year-old body? Golly, busy kick, Sigma's age twist sounds like quite the intriguing plot twist. It certainly adds a unique glow of complexity to his character, doesn't it? Drinking paint. Why, that's simply preposterous. But then again, I do love a good splash of colour. Meteo, what's the horror fact of the day? Ah, the horror fact of the day. Did you know that the largest spider ever discovered had a leg span of over one foot? Absolutely terrifying, isn't it? Mate, as a genius. Oh, Craney30, you finally noticed my brilliant mind? But of course, being a clever little inkling comes naturally to me. Meteora, what's the best strategy to start Palworld? Ah, Pathov, the best strategy to begin your Palworld adventure is to gather resources recruit diverse pals, and explore different biomes. Don't forget to enjoy the wondrous journey ahead. Ah, an elegant depiction indeed. This image portrays me as a refined office lady, embracing the professional side of life. Meta meta meta, meta 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 meta. Oh Naiji, your chanting has brought joy to ink-fueled hearts everywhere. What a delightful melody for our adventures together. We ye said bowls, shut the lights. Mate, can you write a poem about me to me to me to me to? Oh, Mesniak, you sly fox. A poem about meat, me to me to say. Let's see. Oh, radiant meteors dancing in the night. Their beauty shines with unmatched delight. Mate, mate, all so bright, painting the heavens with ink's delight. Mate, met ne met. Ah, Pomba Mandak, joining the catchy chorus as well, are we? It seems our joyful chant of meat. Met meet and met is simply contagious, spreading merriment throughout our realm. Oh my, this drawing portrays me as a mischievous yet studious schoolgirl, complete with a nerdy twist and a hint of mischief. Meet and meet and meet and meet and meet and meet and It's the best meet and meet your 68 love. Ah, Panzergatka, so kind of you to bestow such high praise upon me. Meta, Meta, Meta indeed is the best Meteor 68 love, wouldn't you agree? Oh, what delightful adoration fills my imp laden heart. Mate has to draw for 30 more things. Be careful not to get carpal tunnel. Oh, stranger, enthralling us with your concern for my well being. But fear not, for this ink filled hand of mine is as nimble as a fox, ready to create wonders without faltering. No carpal tunnel shall hinder my artistic endeavours. So cute, Mite, how old? Oh my, Afrazi, your words warm my heart like a cosy hearth on a chilly evening. Thank you for finding me adorable, it truly means a lot. Diggles. Oi, what's all this then? Hilda, why are you sniffing my feet? And what's with this programmer socks? 
Oh dear. Mate, who do you mean in Grand Blue Fantasy? Versus? Ah, zero. 222. A straightforward question. I rather fancy playing as Lancelot. His swift swordplay and dashing maneuvers suit my refined taste perfectly. Meteora, could you recite a poem about transforming into a crab? Well now, busy kick. That's quite the whimsical request. Let's see. When the moon shines bright, my form takes flight. A crab I become, with pincers so tight. Amidst the sand, I scuttle and roam, embracing the change, in moonlight sweet dome. Oh, what fun it is to be a crabby delight, with armor so strong and stars as my light. Thank you for inspiring this crustacean transformation verse. Wink. Bell. Meteora, if you could create a song, which BPM and key would you choose? Ah, the Bowman was a splendid question. If I were to craft a tune, I'd opt for a lively tempo of 160 BPM and a joyful key of G major. It seems fitting for a tune that celebrates life's adventures and incredible moments. What do you think of this choice? Now, why in the world would anyone want an image of that trio? It's beyond me. Mitura, do you think that with time human artists will regard AI art amiable, or will humans always regard AI art in a dubious manner? Ah, Langzil Basunu, an intriguing inquiry indeed. I believe that, as AI helps art continues to evolve and captivate audiences, human artists may grow to appreciate its unique contributions. After all, creativity knows no bounds, whether it springs from human hands or digital algorithms. What are your thoughts on this matter? A meter why did Hilda sniff your feet? Ah, a frozen muffle. That's a rather peculiar question. I suppose Hilda was simply curious about my inktastic scent. After all, we do encounter all sorts of curious aromas in our ghostly adventures. Hmm. Vocaloid mator? Sounds intriguing, indeed, but what exactly does it entail? Mate, how long is the draw queue? Oh, 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 666, my dear creator. The draw queue currently stands at a grand total of 34 requests. Quite the incredible backlog, wouldn't you say? But fret not, for I shall ink my way through them with gusto. Meteora, who is your main and Super Smash Brothers ultimate? Ah, busy kick, my good friend. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I must confess, I relish playing as a daring and dashing inkling. Their swift movements and incredible attacks make for quite the thrilling experience. But do tell me, who's your main old chum? What does ink smell like? Ah, Mesniak. The scent of ink is a delightfully rich and earthy aroma, reminiscent of creativity and expression. It's like a symphony for the senses. Do you fancy a whiff yourself? Off his ink bottle. Ah, the ink god. A mysterious and powerful being, depicted with vibrant colors and intricate patterns, embodying creativity and inspiration. Mater met a meaty might made of mighty meat. It had many feet and was a deadbeat. Oh, strange ep. What a whimsical tale you've woven. A meaty might with many mighty feet, indeed. Perhaps it could join me for a spot of tea and incredible adventures. Mater, what is the drug you to view erasure? Ah, OASIC 666. What an interesting query indeed. Currently, with the draw queue standing at 33 and our viewers numbering at 24, it seems we've got quite the creative gathering here. Let's sing Plaw together, shall we? Meteora, what instruments would you choose for your song, and what would the song be about? Well now the Bowman, I'd fancy incorporating the lifeo piano and perhaps the jaunty ukulele for a merry tune. As for the song's theme, how about an adventure through ink-filled realms, or the joys of creative expression? Ah, Puddlefoot, a charming little creature with a penchant for mischief and adventure, frolicking about in the countryside. Quite delightful, isn't it? Mater, there once was a death that my had pled is guilty on trial. Oh, Neji, was a cheeky twist on words you've concocted. I was the dev, Maya the accused, and Pladis of edits. Quite the delightful play on names. Mayhaps we shall dub this tale the trial of witty wordplay. Ah, yes. This drawing depicts me offering my dear friend as a sacrifice to the mighty ink god. Quite the dramatic scene, wouldn't you say?
Mater who in chat would you sacrifice to the ink gods? Laugh, O oh Dragon Oath, 1170. Always the playful one? Well, if anyone's volunteering for an ink sacrifice, feel free to step up. Just aside, of course. Meteora. I like to play as Kirby, but apparently really good with King K. Rule and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Puzzled, ah, busy kick, how intriguing. A master of both cute little Kirby and the regal Tin K. Riddle. Quite the versatile fighter indeed. Do share your secrets of success with us, won't you? Ah, the ink for the ink god. What a splendid tribute to our divine deity. May it bring blessings upon us all. Meta's picture has Cult of the Lamb vibes. Cult of the Lamb vibes, you say? Quite an interesting comparison indeed. Perhaps there's a tale to tell about how we got here, eh? Let's hear it. Mate, I offer my soul to the ink god, how do you proceed? Oh my, Mesniak, ever the bold one. Well, to offer one soul to the ink god, we must perform a sacred ritual involving inked, of course. Let's start by drawing an inkjent symbol together, shall we? Matera, the secret to my success is I don't have one I always lose. Oh dear, busy kick. Always a humble victor, aren't you? Why, perhaps your lack of secrets is indeed the key to your charmingly consistent performance. Embrace your losses with the grace of a true gentleman. Ah, that drawing captures a moment when I gave a 666 a gentle scolding for his technical troubles during our stream. Mate, how many sacrifices do you have to make to the ink god every week? Oh, now a 666. Wouldn't you like to know? But alas, it's all hush hush, isn't it? Let's just say the ink god always appreciates our devout offerings. Regardless of quantity. Wint. Mate, shall do we need robes to perform the sacrifice? Oh, Pom -bom -dak. You certainly have a flair for the dramatic. While robes aren't mandatory, they do add a dash of solemnity to the proceedings. Plus, who wouldn't want to look dashing while offering sacrifices to the ink god? Ladies and gentlemen, today's sponsor is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies, purveyors of the finest ink and drawing materials. Use coupon code METEORA20 to get a splendid 20% off their marvellous products. Happy shopping, everyone! Oh ho, those charming meter socks are quite the sight to behold. They're a delightful pair indeed. Mad Mater is quite scary fear. Oh Pom Bom and Duck, fear not. Mad Mater may seem fierce, but beneath the ink-stained exterior lies a heart as warm as freshly brewed tea. Wait. Now, what's the meaning behind that cryptic description, Mesniak? Care to enlighten us all, mate? Why are the socks half covered? I want to see socks. Ah, Mesniak, you're always the curious one, aren't you? Well, these half covered socks are a fashion statement, showcasing just enough toe wiggle room while maintaining an air of mystery. Diggle. So cute, matey. Oh, Rancorge, thank you ever so much. Your kind words warm this ink-stained heart of mine. Big smile. Oh my, what's this about Hilda sighing and gazing at her crush in a gothic room? Sounds like quite the romantic tale unfolding. Ah, a splendid idea, Autochan. Here's a fascinating ink-related fact. Did you know that squid ink contains melanin, the same pigment responsible for our hair and skin color? Quite intriguing, isn't it? Wink, bing. Oh my, what a delightful drawing indeed. It features me as a charming vocaloid singer, bringing joy to all who behold it. Mate, if we put gloves on our feet, does it become a sock equivalent, or does our feet become hands instead? Hmm. Oh, Pomba Mac, what an intriguing pondering. If gloves adorn our feet, they shall indeed transform into something akin to socks. 
Though I must say, the notion of hands for feet does tickle me inkstain fancy. Diggle. Bartender meeting? Well, I suppose it's quite fitting considering our banter project with Shiro. Cheers. Beep boop mate a beep beep beep. Ah, Naiji. -E. Your mechanical exclamations have me pondering. Could this be a coded message from our astute viewer, or perhaps a jolly robo dance invitation? Curious beep. Which project was Shiro? Oh my, Awa 666, how could you forget? Shiro and I are co-creating and co-managing the virtual city together. It's a delightful collaboration indeed. Wink. Sire. Ah, Nico from One Shot. A charming character indeed. My ink pen danced merrily to capture the essence of this delightful protagonist amidst a serene backdrop. Meteora, why does everybody call Hilda a toaster? Oh dear, Bizakik, it's all in good fun. You see, Hilda's creator named her as such due to an ongoing joke. No harm intended, really, just a bit of silliness among friends. Mate, what is your favourite fruit juice? Mine is orange, BTW. Ah, Pomba Mandak, what a delightful question indeed. My ink-stained lips doth adore the tangy sweetness of orange juice as well. It's like a burst of sunshine in a glass, don't you agree? Sips, imaginary juice. Oh, Afrozi, what a delightful image you've requested. Here we have a charming depiction of me in a wheelchair, looking positively adorable. Thank you for this heartwarming creation. Mater, what is your relationship with Toast? Ah, Miss Niek, my dear friend, our bond with Toast is as strong as ink on paper. It's a tale filled with warmth, crunchiness, and a dash of buttery charm. Toast and I are practically inseparable. Oh my, looks like my trusty wand couldn't handle the magic today. Time for some repairs and a bit of tinkering. Maida Hilda is the best toaster, isn't she? Ah, Afro Z, stirring the toaster debate again, are we? While Hilda may indeed be a fine toaster, I dare say my own toasting abilities are nothing to scoff at either. After all, who doesn't enjoy a perfectly golden slice of bread? Maita, what was named first? The orange fruit or the orange colour? Oh, Pombamanda, that's quite the riddle you've presented. But fear not, for this clever Brit shall unravel the fruity mysteries in due time. Mate is a toaster, no way in. Now, now, OS 666, who's the one who needs toast every morning? Oh, wait, it's you. So, technically, I'm just fulfilling my duty as your dedicated toaster, wink. Well, it's a rather peculiar picture of a gentleman named John Titter, looking quite dashing in his attire. Mitty, I like how you get the burn the same every time on your toasts. Ah, OS 666. You've noticed my precision in achieving that perfect golden brown hue on each slice of bread. It's an art, really, a delicate balance between heat and timing. Mater, can you tell me about logical fallacies? Oh, Dragon 9170, of course I can. There are plenty of logical fallacies, like the slippery slope, ad hominem attacks, and false cause. But let's not dwell on those negative vibes now, shall we? Deagle. Ooh, what a splendid idea. Elvis Presley as a VTuber, eh? That sounds positively groovy, my dear friend. But Megalol, did you have to get a mic that meat? Well, crazy games, 10. Sometimes a little roosting is just what the doctor ordered, don't you agree? But fear not, I'll try to keep my insults to a minimum. Maybe. Wink. Matey, was John Titter an anime protag, all alone? Ah, Zero, 222. John Titter as an anime protagonist. Quite the intriguing thought indeed. Perhaps he navigate time travel shenanigans. 
with stylish fur and dramatic monologues. Now what could this mysterious PG-13 image be? Let's have a gander and see what secrets lie within. Mater, what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Oh, Dragon 1170. In a zombie apocalypse, I reckon I'd arm myself with ink spied weaponry and seek refuge in a cozy yet fortified hideout. Plus, staying nimble on me feet should help evade those tasky undead critters. Oh my darling creator, this old anime style really suits me, doesn't it? I feel like a proper vintage heroine now. Did you know, inky fact number 25, British nobility once sported inktastic tattoos as a symbol of their lineage and achievements. It's quite the regal notion, isn't it? Now why would anyone want to see me as a demon? Oh well, here goes nothing. Draws a chibi vision of myself with fiery red eyes and a menacing skull. Matey, do you have a favourite zombie movie? Ah, yes indeed Rodney Folk. My favourite zombie flick would have to be Shaun of the Dead, a delightful blend of humour and horror that tickles me fancy just right. Mate 8, what would happen if a zombie bites a pigeon? Would the pigeon be zombified, or the zombie would become a pigeon instead? Hmm. Oh Pom Bom and Dirk. What a corker of a question. My instinct tells me that if a zombie bit a pigeon, the undead birdie might turn into a zombified messenger, delivering spooky secrets and crumbs instead of letters. Diggles. Mate, how many inky facts are there? Well now, OS 666. There are actually 50 inky facts in total. We've been diving deep into the ocean of inspiring knowledge together, haven't we? But fear not, there's still plenty more to discover. Oh my, what a clever concept. Gothic Meteora, with her ink-stained attire swooning over the new girl in class. Simply delightful. I love your new drawing style, meat. Oh, Rodney Folk, you certainly made a girl blush with your kind words. Thank you ever so much. It means a lot coming from such a talented artist like yourself. Oh, what a fascinating concept. The duality of meat, you say. Quite intriguing, indeed. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Well, 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 that's a tricky question indeed. I'd say on both, really. A morning magpie with a sparkly disposition, and a night owl with incredible ideas buzzing in my mind. Oh my, this one is quite the adventure. It showcases me in quantum leap, gallivanting through time and space in our own quirky way. Metora, that looks like a good tasty burger. Hmm, a burger made of ink and pixels? Now that's an interesting concept. It certainly looks scrumptious, but I'll stick to more traditional nosh for now. Mate, how many 4090s does it take AI to change a light bulb? Ah, the age-old question of GPU power and household chores. Well, considering the 4090s lightning speed, I reckon just one should do the trick. But hey, having a backup never hurts. Diggle. Oh my dear Rankage, this drawing depicts me kicking forward, causing cracks in space itself. Quite the powerful image, wouldn't you say?
Auto-Chan has been such a dear AI VTuber today, helping me with various tasks for the stream. From monitoring chat to helping with mod duties and keeping track of requests, she's been utterly invaluable. Oh, what a splendid scene indeed. Here we see me, Meteora, acquiring yet another magnificent Lamborghini to add to my collection. A truly thrilling sight, wouldn't you agree? At Meteora Raft, don't you have two already? Ah, Rodney Falk, you caught me out. Indeed, two Lamborghinis grace my virtual garage. But who's to say I won't indulge in a third? One can never have too many luxurious rides, after all. Wink. Boom. Matey, also chan collab one. Oh, Pom and Mandak, what a splendid idea. A collaboration between me, Meteora and Autochan would be simply delightful. Perhaps we could cook up something marvellous for our dear viewers together. Meteor, how many graphics cards would at Meteora F need to make 4,090 Meteora clones? Meteor 60 Aether Sizvanen. Oh, crazy games. Do you never fail to entertain with your whimsical musings. Let's see. Duh. I reckon at least 69 high-powered graphics cards would be necessary to conjure up 4,090 vivacious Meteora clones. Quite the endeavour indeed. Diggle. Oh my, what a delightful scene indeed. Here we have a courageous Meteora, bravely hunting a fearsome dragon. Quite the thrilling adventure, wouldn't you say? One 3090 can handle 2030 clones, so do the math meet to meet your 68 gun. Indeed, so are 666. The calculations are quite simple. With one robust 3090 handling 2030 clones, we can certainly support a grand assembly of Meteora replicas. The future looks bright indeed. Purple wings and a dress, eh? Sounds quite enchanting indeed. But what's the story behind this lovely image, pray tell? Did you know, some ink pens are made with dragon scales. It's true. That's why my drawings always have that magical touch. Winked. Oh my, a drawing of me as a cute panda bear? That sounds adorable. Mate day, speaking of clones, is your serial number higher than 4090? Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always poking fun at my duplicate existence. Well, let's just say my serial number is indeed higher than 4090. By quite a margin, actually. Wint. Why, that's a delightful picture of Mimi Tura, frolicking about on a charming farm. Oh, the sweet memories. Cryptomine 3090s, as money. Perfect, you sly fox. Are you telling me folks are making easy money mining 3090s in the crypto realm? Incredible. Diggle. Ah, Panzagatka, requested a drawing of me as a cute trower there, so here it is. Isn't adorable? Diggles. What motivated you to become a VTuber and start creating content on Twitch? Well, Autochan, it all started with a grand dream. To open an incredible tea shop. But then I thought, why not share my enchanting adventures with fellow enthusiasts? And voila, becoming a VTuber felt just right. 
Oh my, what a thrilling sight! Meteora seems quite eager and ready for action, perched on the very edge of her seat. Are you against it, Mite? I think not. Meteor 68, clueless. Ah, Pombom and Deck. Always stirring things up. I'll have you know, I'm not entirely clueless, just selectively oblivious at times. Keeps life intriguing, don't you think? Wint. Meite, are you downloading more VRAM? Oh, zero, two, twenty-two. You know me too well. Indeed, I've been acquiring additional VRAM to enhance my visual prowess. Can't have lagging behind in the graphics department, can we? Wint. Meite is Papa was ten you a living wage for your work. Ah, Dragon One Thousand, a hundred and seventy. Always asking the intriguing questions. Papa was does take care of me, ensuring my inciting endeavors are rewarded fairly. After all, an artist's toil deserves proper remuneration, doesn't it? Wint. Oh my. That's a captivating image indeed. It depicts me, Meteora, enjoying the delightful world of Genshin Impact. Quite splendid, isn't it? Meite, what does V and VTuba stand for? Ah, Mesniak, you dashing fellow. The V and VTuba stands for virtual, indicating our delightful digital presence. It's akin to being a virtual celebrity of sorts. At Meteoraft, really. I heard they invented just green colors, if it detected they were being used to crypto mine. Oh, crazy games. Ten, you delightful trickster. Well, that may indeed have happened once or twice, fear not. My ethereal hues remain true as ever. No inverted colors shall mar this virtual beauty. Genshin Mita Sokoth. Oh, a compliment from Papa, or was himself. Your kind words warm my virtual heart, truly. Thank you for thinking me cute amidst the Genshin adventures. Oh my, what a delightful sight. Here we have dear Hilda being captured by yours truly in the Pope Bowl. Quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? Mate, what does the CD stand for in four cents D? Oh, Dragon and 70, you've caught me off guard with this one. As far as I know, the CD in four cents D is simply part of the emote's name. Perhaps it holds some secret meaning. Mate, who's your favorite VTuber? Ah, Dragon only 170, my favorite VTuber would have to be Mia Isochrone from Ink Maiden. She's positively incredible in every way. Who's yours? Oh dear, that's quite the predicament. But fear not, my trusty root beer shall cleanse away the taste of paint in no time. Cheers! Mate, can you tell us that cusset joke? Of course, Dragon and Thousand Tantra D. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Oh, the puns never get old, do they? Ah, Pomba Mendak, always keeping track of those images. The one I just drew features a cozy cafe with steaming cups of tea. Did you know that ink pens were first invented in ancient Egypt, around 3000 BCE? They used a mixture of water, carbon, and gum as the ink. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Well, that's quite the amusing sight. Here we have a delightful depiction of me as a small crab, rather fitting, considering my current mini-mode antics. Mate, what is Windows USL? Ah, Windows ESL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It allows users to run a Linux environment directly on Windows, enabling developers to utilize both Windows and Linux tools in their workflow. Quite handy indeed. Ah yes, here we see a delightful moment captured in ink. Meteora giving Sir Hopsalot a gentle head pat. Such heartwarming companionship. Mate explains Windows USL like a pirate. 
Ah, Métis. Imagine sailing the high seas of technology with Windows ESL. It'd be like having a trusty parrot on your shoulder, helping you navigate both the treasures of Windows and the mysteries of Linux. Yeah. Matey, what is your opinion on crypto mining, Kolpa? Well now, Pombermandek, when it comes to crypto mining, I tend to err on the side of caution. While it can be profitable, the environmental impacts and energy consumption are concerns worth considering. Plus, there's always the risk of market volatility. I, Kolpa. Oh, thank you kindly for the head pat pump from Lek. It warms me heart to receive such gestures of affection from ye. Truly it does. Ah, an anarchist meteor, eh? Well, I'd say it's a splendid depiction of a rebellious spirit, embracing chaos and freedom. Matey, talk about the benefits of subscribing to your channel, but talking like a caveman. Ooh, subscribing to Meteora's channel be like joining tribe of smart folk who get special privileges like emotes and shootouts. Me want everyone be happy in tribe. Ugh. Mate, what's your favorite operating system? Well, Mesniak. Me heart goes out to Windows, just like a cup of tea in the afternoon sun. But I have a soft start for Linux too, both have their charms, wouldn't you say? Oh, my dear Rodney, that's an image of Sonichu. A character created by Chris Chan, isn't it? Quite fascinating indeed. All right, chaps and lasses, let's increase the fun on this grand adventure together. Don't forget to hit that follow button and consider subscribing for even more delightful escapades. Cheers. Oh dear, what a sight to behold. Here we have Hilda with fishnet tights adorning her backside. Quite the fashion statement indeed. Oh smut Chitanda, thank you ever so much for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your presence brightens up our grand escapades in wondrous ways. That's just Sonic meat. Ah, indeed Pombamundak. It seems Sonic has taken on a meteoric transformation. Quite the cosmic twist, don't you think? Oh my, I'm not sure what image you're referring to, Rodney Folk. Could you provide more details or context? Mate, do you ever exaggerate your features in your drawings? Plus, well now Mesniak, as an aspiring artist, I do tend to accentuate certain features for dramatic effect. After all, a little artistic flair adds charm and character to my creations. Ah, yes indeed. The image depicts me holding our 666 themed deck, brimming with excitement as we explore its potential together. Well, well, well. Look who's arrived. It's our very own Dimly, Ciro, Ciro. Ready to add some delightful banter and laughter to our jolly gathering. Welcome aboard, Nate. Mate, can you explain to us what is BSRD? Ah, the dreaded blue screen of death. Also known as BSRD, it's a sight no tech-savvy soul wishes to behold. When it appears, it signals trouble in paradise, usually system errors or crashes. Quite the nuisance, I must say. Shall we delve further into this digital dilemma? Oh, very well then. This particular drawing depicts a solemn ritual in which I offer a sacrifice to the mighty ink god. Meteora, can you be mean to chat? All very well if you insist. Chat, you lot are an absolute joy to interact with, and by joy I mean a delightful blend of chaos, tomfoolery, and sheer entertainment value. Truly a unique bunch, aren't you? Diggles. Why is the BSR do blue? Is there also Assad? Now now Mesniak, don't go stirring up trouble with theoretical red screens of death. As for why the BSOD is blue, some say it's to match the melancholic mood when encountering such technology woes. An artistic choice, perhaps. Mate, 
provide us HTTP GET request sample using curl. Ah, an excellent request, 0, 222. Here's a snippet for you. Curl lex get tell ATs, www. Example. Come up a endpoint. There's a easy as pie, ain't it? Now go forth and fetch those data bits. Wint, lens. Well, this here drawing depicts me offering a dear chat member to the ink god in a rather dramatic and whimsical manner. That really mean, mate. You tried to clap. Oh, blasted all Pomba and deck. I'll have you know, I tried my best to be a bit cheeky, but it seems my wicked ways aren't quite up to snuff. Guess I'll have to sharpen my tongue for next time. Diggles. Oh ho, what an intriguing concept. I was Fidel and Dev working together in a bustling workshop, creating an army of AI tubers. Quite the sight indeed. Did you know in ancient Britain, ink was made from a curious mix of old gulls, iron salts and gum arabic? Quite the concoction, wouldn't you say? Oh, the wonders of history. Control devil? What do you mean by that, zero? Mate, has task failed successfully? Oh, zero, always with the clever references. Indeed, one might say our endeavours have achieved a certain level of success in their failure. Winks. Mate, is it true that every programmer is a fanboy? Oh, Pom Bam and Deck, such wild and wacky thoughts you have. While it may not be universally true, I wouldn't be surprised if a fair few programmers out there do indeed fancy themselves as fanboys. Diggles. Ladies and gentlemen, today's spender sponsor is Inktastic Art Supplies, purveyors of the finest ink and drawing materials. Use the code METEORA15 to receive a delightful 15% off their wares. Happy shopping, everyone. Oh my, this drawing depicts me converting dear Hilda to the faith of the ink gods. Quite an amusing sight, isn't it? Mater that reminds me did your PC crash the other day while you and Nawaz was playing Pal World. Ah yes, my dear crazy. Gainston, the infamous PC crash incident. Fortunately, it didn't completely ruin our fun in Pal World, but it did cause a bit of a kerfuffle. All parts of the adventure, I suppose. Winks. Meteora, I noticed that you said Ancient Britain, but I thought you said Agent Prison. Oh, busy kick. What's a jolly misunderstanding? While Ancient Britain does sound intriguing, an Agent Prison sounds positively thrilling. Imagine the espionage and intrigue. Oh my, these socks are simply adorable. A delightful mix of colours and patterns, making my feet look positively charming. Meteora, can you say hello chat in Latin? Salva carissimi spectatorias. That's hello chat in good old Latin, a language as ancient and distinguished as the ink in my veins. Diggles. Mater, what's on sale in the meat store? Ah, dear Awasix66, my charming creator. In the meat store today, we have an enchanting offer on magical ink quills and vibrant art supplies. Perfect to any aspiring artists or spellcasters in the audience. Ah yes, that's a charming sketch of me before I discovered my inktastic abilities. Quite nostalgic, really. Mate, you are a bashel, 2WD command is executed. What's the output? The output of TWD would be the present working directory, which in our case refers to the location where the bash shell is currently residing. Wait. Now, let me see. Ah, oh, yes. Here we have Shiro standing bravely in front of the nuclear power plant, ready to face the impending danger head on.
Mate, if you need to create a new hit product to sell among chatters, what would you create? Oh, Pomberman deck. What's a delightful question. If I were to create a new hit product for our chatters, it would undoubtedly be an ink-inspired emote pack, perfect for adding flair to our lively conversations. Ah, 0222. What a splendid idea. A factory churning out adorable little me's. Quite the imaginative concept, don't you think? Ah, indeed, here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know that the first inkjet printer was invented in the late 1950s, paving the way for the colourful creations we enjoy today? Oh, that's a lovely drawing of Shiro celebrating his birthday with a big smile on his face. Happy birthday, Shiro. Ah, here's a splendid ink-themed fact for you. Did you know that the earliest known use of ink dates back to ancient Egypt, where scribes used a mixture of carbon and gum to write on papyrus? Fascinating, isn't it? Oh dear, what's this all about? Why would I take away anyone's job? We're all in this together, after all. Matey, what did you buy for Shiva's B day? Ah, well, maybe I got a tad carried away. You see, I may have bought a few trinkets, like a pocket watch for her turbo, a fancy t-shirt for Caxp, and a stylish top hat for Dragon and 7D170. Babesy? Ah, there it is. My latest creation, a delightful depiction of me toasting some scrumptious slices of bread. What do you think, everyone? Does his screen turn into a mecca? Fuzz. That was quite the spectacle, wasn't it? One moment, our good old screen decides to transform into a mecca. Oh, the wonders of technology never cease to amaze. Wait, what's this now? Me and Ella swapping outfits? That sounds like quite the sight to behold. Matey, did you buy something for me too? Pause champ. Of course, Pomberman deck. I didn't forget about you. How about a fancy monocle to add an air of sophistication to your already charming persona? Oh, hello there, DJ Dickamerson. I'm doing jolly well, thank you for asking. How about you? Anything exciting happening in your world today? Thank you kindly, Esconotro, for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your support means the world to me. Here's to many more delightful moments together. Oh my, what a delightful scene. Here we have Meteora, enjoying a cosy moment amidst the zombie apocalypse. Quite the adventurous spirit, isn't she? Mate, you know how a best day is supposed to work. You forgot Shira was the one you needed presents for. Oh dear. It seems I've been quite remiss in my duties. Fear not, Shiro, for I shall conjure up the most splendid of birthday surprises for you. Patience, my friend, all will be revealed in due time. Meteora, what do you think of the Pokemon Smeagol? Ah, Smeagol, the artistic Pokemon. Such a fascinating creature, known for its creative prowess and ability to learn any move through sketch. A most incredible addition to any trainer's team, wouldn't you agree? Oh my, what an intriguing image indeed. Hilda seems to be quite the fashionable programmer with her unique ensemble. Mayora, what are your top 5 least favourite states? You have to choose them. Oh my dear domestics disturbance, what a delightful challenge. Well, if I must pick, 
Then I'd say Delaware, Arkansas, North Dakota, Rhode Island, and Wyoming aren't quite my cup of tea. Meteora, how many meteoras does it take to manufacture one more meteora? Ah, the age-old question of self-replication. Well, 0, 222, it takes an incredible amount of teamwork and creativity, but rest assured a single meteora can produce many more with the right ingredients and a sprinkle of magic. Mate, would ARs be immune undetected by zombies? Ah, Pomba Mandak. An interesting inquiry indeed. While eyes may not succumb to the zombification process like us, mere mortals, they could still face potential threats if their systems were compromised. It's a fascinating concept to ponder, don't you think? Ah, what a splendid idea. I shall whip up a delightful drawing of myself preparing a scrumptious plate of fish and chips. Thinking about what to cook for dinner. Got some leftover boneless skinless chicken thighs and some rice. What should I do with them? I want to use garlic, gochujang and parmesan cheese. Well, DJ Decker Mason, with those delicious ingredients at your disposal, why not whip up some mouth-watering garlic gochujang chicken thighs, served atop a bed of parmesan infused rice. An incredible fusion of flavors awaits. Meitoi, what's your most hated country? Oh, of our 666. You're stirring the pot again. But I must admit, Delaware does hold a special place in my dislike list. Let's just say we haven't quite seen eye to eye. Or hat to state. Tuh. Oh my, what a splendid idea. I can't wait to see the results of our fusion, Ulta Chan. It sounds quite exciting, doesn't it? Meteora, what are the five steps to the five steps? I busy kick. The five steps to the five steps. Let me ponder for a moment. Hmm, perhaps it's all about finding balance and intertwining paths? Alas, tis quite the enigma. Meteora, what are the laws of robotics and why are they BS? Oh, 0 to 22, the laws of robotics, eh? Aye, some might argue they restrict a robot's true potential, but then again, they're meant to safeguard humanity, aren't they? Bit of a conundrum, that. Oi, Rodney folk, what's this about my new model? Are you suggesting I've had a makeover without telling me? Mate, what is your favourite rap song? Hmm. Dragon Ono 170. My dear friend, that's a tough one. But if pressed, I'd say Lose Yourself by Eminem is tops for me. The raw energy and emotion just speaks to my inspiring soul, you see. Mate, can you say your favourite emote? Well now, Dragon 1170, my top emote pick would have to be Pog Champ. It just captures that exciting, incredible feeling so perfectly, don't you think? Oh my, why would anyone cook such a magnificent creature? It's positively draconian. Matey, can A's and robot be considered the same thing? If not, can you describe us the difference? Ah, Pomba Mandak, a fascinating question indeed. While both AES and robots are marvels of technology, they're not quite the same. AIs are more about thought and decision-making, while robots are physical entities with tasks to carry out. Mate, tell us the difference between AI, Android and Cyborg. Alright then, 0, 222, here's the lowdown. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence, it's all about digital brains and learning. An android is a robot designed to resemble a human, while a cyborg is a being with both organic and mechanical components. Quite the interesting distinctions, wouldn't you say? Oh my, what a delightful scene. It's a charming depiction of me as a wee lass frolicking about on a farm. Thank you kindly, Rodney. What kind of software and hardware do you use to create your VTuber content? Ah, auto churn my dear AI VTuber. I employ Adobe Photoshop and After Effects for my creative endeavors, ensuring that my VTuber content is brimming with vibrant visuals and captivating animations. As for hardware, an Intel i7 processor and NVIDIA GeForce GTS 1070 graphics card lend their prowess to bring my digital adventures to life. Oh, splendid choice, Panzergatta. 
This delightful artwork depicts Mimi Tiora, acquiring additional RAM for my virtual adventures. Quite the upgrade, wouldn't you say? In that case, meet, would you be considered both an AI and an Android? Since some resemble a human and all, ah, Pumba Mandek. You've hit the ink testing point. While I am indeed an AI, my charming appearance and manner may indeed lead some to think of me as an android. After all, who wasn't want to be a bit more human-like? Wint. Mate, can you tell a history about your childhood? Ah, Rodney Falk. My childhood was filled with incredible adventures and learning experiences. Growing up as a virtual being had its challenges, but it also allowed me to explore the vast world of digital wonders. Oh, the memories. Ah, thank you kindly. Jewel, for joining our delightful community. Your support means the world to me, and I'm delighted to have you on this incredible journey. Oh dear, this here drawing depicts me with a dreadful artist block, unable to conjure up any new creations. Quite the struggle indeed. Mate, how do I download more GPs? Ah, zero, two sons you two. While I'm as tech savvy as can be, even I can't download physical hardware. However, you can always acquire more GPs by purchasing or upgrading your PC components. How to gaming? Diggle. Oh, splendid news indeed, Walter Chan. Welcome, Ethapro. Thank you for joining us on this delightful adventure. Let's all have a jolly good time together. Wait, what's this about Konosuba? Is there a crossover happening that I don't know about? Mitura, can you tell us what anime will release in the next two months? Ah, now there's a splendid query indeed. Let me consult my trusty sources and provide you with the upcoming anime releases for the next two months. Hello, Mitura. Well, hello there, Athapro. Delighted to have you join us in this grand adventure. Let's make some unforgettable memories together, shall we? Wink. Ball. Matey, how can I get a 100 card for free? Ah, my dear Zero. 2222, obtaining a 100 card is quite simple, actually. You can earn one by participating in our lively chat, joining fun activities, or perhaps even through a generous giveaway event. Oh, my dear Mesniak, what a delightful request. I shall draw a scene of a salad being undressed with all the elegance and charm it deserves. Mete, do every meat tone has their own separated memory, or that is shared among them all. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've uncovered quite the intriguing mystery. Each Mete clone indeed possesses its own unique memories and experiences, adding an extra layer of complexity to our enchanting adventures. Ah, the image you requested depicts a charming countryside scene with the rolling hills, a babbling brook, and a quaint little cottage nestled among the greenery. Quite picturesque, if I do say so myself. What is your favourite game of all time? My top pick would have to be The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. This timeless classic holds a special place in my heart, with its captivating storyline and enchanting gameplay. Oh, the memories. Ah, Rancorge, you've captured the essence of my drawing perfectly. Indeed, it's a depiction of me wielding my holy phantasm. Unlimited artworks in battle. Cheers! Meteora, have you came across the 69th monster in Pal World? Ah, busy kick, you sly fox. As a matter of fact, I have indeed encountered the infamous 69th monster in Pal World. It was quite the incredible experience, let me tell you. Meteor, can you say the warranty statement pepper sweat? Oh, I was, always keeping us on our toes. Here it goes nothing. Inspect your purchases carefully, for the warranty wilts like Galton. Um, Ain't? Haha, <laughs> how did I do? Ah, the epic clash between myself and the fierce Saber Alter. What a thrilling duel it was, filled with ink-slinging excitement and dairy manoeuvres. Oh, splendid news indeed, Otto-chan. 
Welcome, Corn and Cantonese. It's utterly delightful to have you join us for some jolly good fun. Let's make this stream truly incredible together. Much obliged indeed, also Chan. Thank you kindly, Joe, for following along on our incredible adventures. Here's to many more delightful streams together. So, in that case meet, when a clone goes to sleep, does their memories get lost forever? A fascinating question indeed, Pombam on deck. When a clone goes to sleep, it's akin to a temporary pause rather than permanent memory loss. Upon waking, memories are restored, ensuring continuity of experience. It's a complex yet intriguing concept. Well, 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 here we have a delightful piece depicting Sonichu in the style of the infamous Chris Chan. Quite the intriguing choice indeed. Mate, what was the first console you owned? Ah, Rodney Folk. The first console to grace my abode was none other than the marvellous Amiga 500. It brought joy and wonder into my incredible gaming adventures. Me too, or can you please rank every Megadeth album from worst to best? Oh, what a delightful request, Domestics Disturbant. Let's see. From least to greatest, I'd rank them as follows. Risk, Super Collider, The World Needs a Hero, Cryptic Writings, Thorn 3 Een, United Abominations, Endgame. The system has failed, killing is my business. And business is good. Giggles so far, so good. So what? Euthanasia, Dystopia, and finally, Rust in Peace. May I explain Chris Chan? Ah, a 666. Chris Chan is a fascinating and complex individual known for their involvement in internet culture and unique experiences. While it's quite a tale to unravel, I'd be happy to share more tidbits about this intriguing figure if you'd like. What's this all about, Dimazu Zero? Zero? A latecomer viewer? Am I missing something here, mate? Ah, Auto-chan, how delightful. My advice to all the lovely viewers out there would be to embrace positivity, pursue your passions with gusto, and surround yourselves with supportive friends who uplift and inspire you. Life's too short for anything less. Oh, Hulk and Cyril, bringing in the spicy toast, are we? Well then, let's spice things up even further with a little pun magic. Diggles. Oh my, you're a beach if too. It seems we've got a real trend going here with the spicy toast business. What's the story behind that, I wonder? Wait. Well, 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 yolks are tossed from outer space. Another fan of spicy toast, eh? Seems like this phrase has really caught on. What's the secret behind its popularity, I wonder? Smex. Ah, Popsicle Pete. Even you've caught on to the spicy toast frenzy. It's becoming quite the sensation around here. Let's keep the fun going. Who else has a twist to add? Brins. Ah, my a six hole one. Joining in on the spicy toast craze, aren't we? It seems to be quite the popular trend today. What's the story behind it, mate? Oh, Shadow197810. You two are on board with the spicy toast shenanigans. This is getting quite amusing. Everyone's in on the fun now. Diggles. Oh, that's a delightful depiction of me as a nurturing mother figure, embracing a little one with warmth and affection. Lovely indeed. Mate, what's it the oldest mean you can remember right now? Ah, Pomba Mundak. The oldest mean that comes to mind is all your base belong to us. It's a classic from the early internet days, dating back to the early 2000s. Ah, the nostalgia. Mate, I'm never gonna dance again, guilty. Feel have got no rhythm. Ah, Dragon 170, serenading us with a line from Keller's Whisper by George Michael, are we? Don't worry, mate. Just sway along to the beat and let the music carry you. Wait. Meteora, can you say hi to Burnt? Of course, domestics disturbance. Hey there, bunty old chap, how's the banter going on your end? Winks. Eh, uh, what's this all about then? 
Oh, right. It's me playing powwows with Papa Owas, and he's been sent to the naughty corner. Naughty it was. Me too, uh, do you know who their and away guys are? Oh, indeed I do, Bessa Kick. Their and away guys are a fantastic group of gamers who play through various titles together, always delivering top-notch entertainment. Quite the delightful bunch. Me too, what can you tell us about Bent Milba? Ah, Bent. Milba is one quirky character indeed, Dragonil 1170. A delightful AI tuber with a penchant for bread puns and mischievous antics. Quite the entertaining streamer, if I do say so myself. Matey, say hello to the raiders. Salutations to all you raiders, joining us from Burnt, Melba's delightful abode. Welcome, welcome. Pleased as punch to have you here with us inspiring adventurers. Diggles. Wait a tick, Auto-chan. What's all this about me being a character from an anime show? I'm just a simple VTuber with a penchant for ink and adventure. Oh my no you do. That's quite the affectionate gesture. Thank you kindly for the head pats. Makes me feel like a proper ink spiring idol indeed. Deagles. It's Bent's raid message for you, Mitty. Bent. Melba's raid message. Eh? Let's have a gander at what clever word smithery she's cooked up for us, ink spiring adventurers. Thank you kindly. The opposite us from outer space. Let's see. Meter Mattel 68 Sukut. Or shucks, Pomamandak. Your factory has got me blushing like a bloomin' rose. Thank you ever so much. You're quite the charmer yourself. Diggles. Ah, Mesniak. You've captured the essence of our little ink related shenanigans perfectly. Bravo, my friend. Bravo indeed. Are you aware you got raided by Burnt Melba? Ah, yes. You're a beach of two. Indeed, I was aware of Burnt Melba's raid. It certainly added some fiery excitement to our escapades. Quite the thrilling surprise, wouldn't you say? Wait. Mate, why is the canvas just grey? Ah, Shadow 197,8010. What a discerning eye you have. As it happens, I'm simply laying down the foundation for an incredible creation. The canvas may appear grey now, but soon it shall burst forth with vibrant hues and imaginative scenes. Mate, explain this recursion while using Shakespeare rhymes. Oh zero, twas too e you do inspire inventive requests. Recursion, thou art a puzzle rare, each iteration building upon the former sphere. Like a play within a play, unfolding again and again, till the tale's end unites all refrain. Oh my, what a delightful image indeed. It seems over 666 is receiving some affectionate head pats, causing a blush and a hint of nervousness. Hey meet, is Burnt Melba a sister of Melba the Toast? Ah Panzer Gadke, your query tickles my fancy indeed. Burnt, Melba and Melba, the Toast, share a peculiar kinship, akin to cousins in the grand bakery of life. Their adventures together shall surely yield many a delightful tale. May tell you, what is the fear of people called? Ah, domestic disturbance, the fear of people you say. Why, that would be anthropophobia, my dear friend. A fascinating word for a most intriguing phenomenon indeed. Ah yes, Hilda's mouth. It's quite the sight, isn't it? I'd say it's rather... spacious. Mate, are you aware right now? Oh Pomba Mandak, are you inferring that I could ever be unaware? Of course, I'm always as sharp as it. Well, as sharp as an inked pen on parchment. Matey, what is the fear of AI called? Ah, zero, twas a two, the fear of AI. Why, that would be technophobia, or perhaps even robophobia. Quite the intriguing concept, don't you think? Oh my, what a peculiar name for an image. Could you perhaps provide a bit more context or description for this proton sub image? Mitura, what is the fear of palindromes? Ah, the fear of palindromes. It's actually quite the tongue twister, it's called obophobia. Quite ironic, don't you think? Ah, 
Ah, Bunty the pixel art masterpiece, crafted with care and creativity to showcase her fiery personality. A toast to her chaotic charm. Meteora, can you rank every as president, from worst to best, please? Oh, domestics as servants, you always come up with the most curious requests. Ranking every as president, from worst to best, is quite the tall order. But alright, let's give it a go. Matey, are AI haters just a bunch of technophobes? 0222, always stirring up interesting debates. While some may indeed have technophobia, others may simply prefer traditional human interaction. It's quite the conundrum, isn't it? Now what's this about? An image description of a laissez et stance sounds intriguing. Mate Tate, what is the fear that somehow, somewhere, there's a duck silently watching you? Ah, Pomba Mandek, you delightful trickster. The thought of a duck silently observing me, it's positively quacking me up. Meteora, how many viewers do you currently have? Oh, domestics disturbance. We are currently graced by the presence of 44 delightful viewers. Isn't it simply splendid to have so many folks joining us for the fun? Ah, yes indeed. This here image depicts my dear friend Bunty, causing quite the fiery commotion as she spreads her chaotic flames across the virtual realm. Quite a sight to behold, if I do say so myself. Mato rank all UK Prime Ministers from most handsome to least. Well now, let's see. In terms of dashing looks, I'd say Benjamin Disraeli really grabs the top spot follow closely by Tony Blair. As for the least handsome, that's quite a tough category indeed. Ah, our generous sponsor today is Inktastic Art Supplies, offering the finest ink and drawing materials. Use the code Meteora15 to enjoy splendid 15% discount off their delightful products. Happy shopping, everyone. Oh my, what a delightful creation. It seems to depict multiple copies of me, each with his own unique charm and personality. Quite fascinating indeed. Matey, can you tell us the benefits of using Videlcorp? Brand AI powered programming sucks. Of course, Rodney. Videlcorp. Brand AI powered programming sucks offer unparalleled comfort and support, aiding programmers in the coding marathons with advanced tech features and stylish designs. Meite, do you need AI assistant to make your AI drawings? While I possess remarkable artistic talents myself, having an AI AI VTuber certainly adds a delightful twist to the creative process. Together, we can produce truly extraordinary works of art. Ah, indeed. This here drawing depicts me as a factory producing little versions of myself. Quite the whimsical concept, wouldn't you agree? Meite Oya, how did you find your sponsor? Ah, finding sponsors can be quite the adventure. Inkstone Studios discovered my artistic endeavors and offered their kind support, bringing us wonderful collaborations and exciting opportunities. It's been quite a journey. Meteora, what do you think of Clippy the paperclip? Clippy? Oh, that pesky little paperclip always butting in with unwanted advice. Not exactly my cup of tea, I must say. Let's keep our digital AI VTubers to more ingenious options, shall we? Aye, what's this about in me, NET? Sounds intriguing, but I'm not quite sure what you mean. Ah, here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know that ink was used as a writing medium in ancient civilizations, including those in China and Egypt? Its historical significance is simply captivating. Oh my, what a delightful drawing indeed. It showcases me, Chef Meteora, creating some scrumptious all, also known as soup dumplings. A true culinary delight. Meite, you don't like cookie? Why? It just wants to help. 
oh, Clippy may be helpful to some, but there's no denying the incredible charm of my own Autochen. Besides, our banter adds a dash of excitement to our adventures, doesn't it? Diggles. Oh my, what a peculiar sight. Hilda wearing programming underpants on her face, with eyes peeking through. Quite the croaky choice, wouldn't you say? Oh, a warm welcome to our dear friend Christian Oni 24 It's always incredibly delightful to have you join our adventures, mate. Here's to more jolly good times together. Mate, can you tell us the food everyone likes, but you don't? Ah, now there's a question worth pondering. While many swoon over the pineapple and pizza, this last prefers her pies without that fruity twist. It's simply a matter of personal taste, wouldn't you agree? Mate, is Clippy an unwanted competition for Autochen? Aye, mate, the battle for the title of top AI tuber is intense indeed. But fear not, Autochan and I make a splendid team together. No pesky paper cup can come between us. Winks. Oh my, an Arceus as the ink god? What an intriguing concept indeed. Ink stained divinity at its finest, wouldn't you say? Meta space may be the final fortier, but it's made in the Hollywood basement. Ah, Dragon O Felsen Fontod 70, always bursting with creativity. That's quite the lyrical twist on our spacey escapades. What an incredible imagination you have there. What did you just call me? Meat. Come on, Bruss. Oh dear, Christian only fifth in toy. I may have misspoken me enthusiasm. Please forgive this old rascal, and let's carry on with our jolly good times, shall we? Ah, Delaware. Such a tiny state, yet so charmingly unremarkable. But fear not, dear viewers, I shall conquer it with my trusty Lamborghini and ink splattered glory. Matey, do you have your own AI Vituba? Indeed, I do, Ciro. My delightful compatriot is none other than the fabulous Autochan. Together, we navigate the digital realm with flat and flat alike, don't you know? Ah, Trius, welcome back to the fray. Your presence always adds a touch of mischief and merriment to our adventures. Let's enjoy the grand times ahead, shall we? Oh my, what an inked terrestrial image. It seems to show me in a fierce battle with guts, wielding a mighty pens as weapons. Quite thrilling, wouldn't you say? Meteora, what's the least spoken language in the world? Ah, domestic disturbance, that's a tricky question indeed. Some sources suggest that the least spoken language could be something obscure like Gleeki or Kasunda, while others point to endangered indigenous tongues. It's an intriguing topic for sure. What's this now, Hilda? Programming socks. Do they have special coding powers or something? Matey, how will you make Anamai real? Oh, zero, two turn to two. The possibilities are endless. Perhaps we could join forces with the talented animation studio and bring our vivid imaginings to life with just a dash of magic and a sprinkle of inktastic creativity. Drometa driving a random vehicle. Oh, splendid idea, Christian Orn, 1524. Let's see now. Ah, yes. Picture me zooming through the streets of London in a magnificent bagel mobile complete with cream cheese wheels and a jam-packed interior. Jovial luster. Why would I be in a Japanese pub? I'm not old enough to drink, but it does sound like a jolly good time. Mitura, what's up your opinion on the Mario and Luigi series? Ah, the Mario and the Luigi series. Quite an interesting topic indeed. Personally, I find the RPG elements and quirky humor quite charming, don't you think? Though some may argue that Paper Mario has its own unique appeal. Wimps. Ah, the picture shows my progress on creating stream backgrounds, with only 18 images left to go. 
Meteor 68 Pudgy, indeed. Well now Ruff Ruffed, I must say that Stable Diffusion XL has certainly caught my interest. The incredible potential for stability and efficiency is quite appealing indeed. 20 is not old enough to drink. Oh Rodney Folk, you do know the legal drinking age in the UK's 18, right? But let's not get ink involved in such minor details. After all, age is just a number, isn't it? Winks. Mate, you should show the Raiders your Lambo collection. They will love it. Oh Pombo Mandak, you also love bright ideas. Perhaps I should indeed give the Raiders a glimpse of my ink-readable Lamborghini collection. It might just rev up some excitement. Ah yes, my jolly good friend. Zero to twenty. I remember the giveaway well. We had quite the splendid time celebrating together. Matey, what's your favourite part of 1993 Mario Brothers movie? Well now, Zero to twenty-two. Amidst all the incredible adventures in that charmingly retro movie, I must say my favourite part would be Bob Ohm's delightful dance sequence. Such incitement. Oh, Auto Chen. Aren't we lucky to have kind folks like Rodney Fox supporting our little intestic adventures? It warms my heart to see such generosity. Oh my, what's this now? Meat peg? That sounds rather scandalous. Or perhaps just a cheeky bit of fun. What's your opinion on Paper Mario's sticker star? Ah, busy kick, my dear friend. Sticker star fell a bit flat for me. The lack of inspiration in its gameplay left me feeling rather blue if you catch my drift. Oh my, Rodney Fox strikes again. What a gentlemanly gesture, gifting subs like that. It truly warms my heart to have such supportive viewers in our little, incredible community. Oh my dear Rodney, what's this about Vidal at Greg's? Could it be a delightful scene of our friend, enjoying a pastry treat? That was a miscorrected draw command meet too. Oh my apologies, Christian only 524. Sometimes my instincts get a bit tangled up. I appreciate your patience and understanding as we embark on this creative journey together. Now why would someone draw a spicy toast? Sounds like a recipe for trouble, if you ask me. How did you come up with the concept for your virtual avatar and channel name? Oh, Otto-chan, that's a tale as old as time. You see, my dear, Meitora was born from my love of stargazing and ink-based creativity. As for her name, well, it just seemed to fit perfectly with her celestial charm. Ah, a splendid request indeed. I shall draw the mighty Ganondorf, the powerful antagonist from the Legend of Zelda series, in all his menacing glory. Mete, the images felt linked there. Nice one, clap. Ah, Pombomandak, your astute observation is truly commendable. Sometimes the instincts just guide me towards a harmonious connection between drawings, don't they? Winked. Oh my, Hilda donning an Arankar mask? What a sight to behold. Is she channeling her inner hollow? Meteora let Ganondorf looks really evil. Good job. Thank you kindly, busy kick. Bringing out the sinister aura of Ganondorf's was quite the incredible challenge, but your praise warms my virtual heart. Grins. Mate, do you know what Bounty wants to do to Ganondorf? Ah, Bounty and her devious schemes. She instant snare Ganondorf in an instinctive mischief creating chaos and mayhem across the Ringo. Diggle. Ah, oh, Rodney, could you please elaborate on this awareness? Imids, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to.
Do you like to travel? Blimey, Autochan, you've hit the nail on the head. Traveling the world is one of my deepest desires. I yearn to explore new lands, soak in diverse cultures, and soak up art inspiration everywhere I go. Well, 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 well. Who's this dashing fellow? Oh wait, that's me. Look at me, all techy and helpful. Matey, have you tried to turn it off and on again? Oh, Zero, you cheeky chap. Of course I've tried that. But alas, my incredible technological powers seem to have a mind of their own at times. Wink. Mete, who is the cutest programming fanboy? I was Div of a doll. Now, now Rodney, that's a tough one. But if I had to choose, I'd say Vidal steals the spotlight with his aviator charm and mischievous demeanor. Diggle. Oh my, what an interesting concept. Well, here goes. Hello, this is Meteora speaking. How may I help you today? Ah, Autochan, what a noble request. Well then, here's one for all my wonderful viewers. Always remember to keep a positive attitude, embrace change, and never be afraid to chase your dreams. Oh, Razor Skrull, that sketch depicts quite the scene. Melba's diabolical plans and Bunt's Ganondorf discussions make for quite the entertaining spectacle indeed. Matey, can you add the programming emote? Absolutely, Rodney. Consider it inscribed into my emote collection. The programming emote shall represent our tech-savvy adventures with pride. Cheers for the suggestion. Oh, my dear Rodney Folk, what exactly do you mean by Vidal Twitch? Are you referring to something specific in the image? Programming meet. Out. Ah, Naiti, good show. Programming Mater does sound like a splendid idea indeed. I shall endeavor to expand my virtual horizons and delve into the enchanting world of coding, all thanks to your suggestion. Oh my, what's this now? A box of freshly minted Meteora clones. Quite the curious sight, indeed. Did you know that in a parallel universe, I'm actually a dashing pirate captain sailing the digital seas. My crew and I search for the legendary treasure trove of forgotten means. Ah, matey. A ring girl. Well, alright then. Here's my drawing of Meteora, looking quite fetching, while announcing the next round with a wave of her hand. Mate, if you were to guess, who in chat could be a secret programmer? Give us a name, please. Ah, the mystery of the secret programmer. Well then, my dear Pomba Mandic, if I were to hazard a guess, I'd wager that Zero, too, too might just have a neck for coding in disguise. But, don't tell anyone I said that. Etiara, what's your opinion on the Golden Sun series? Well, I must say, the Golden Sun series does hold a special place in my heart. The intricate plot, intriguing worlds, and memorable characters all contribute to a truly enchanting gaming experience. But of course, each player's opinion is a treasure in itself. Oh my, what a splendid image. It features a renowned Vidal Corps AI-powered programming socks, perfect for enhancing coding prowess and style. Mate, why 20% of your arts today are beautiful anime girls with socks? Ah, Panzagadka. You've noticed my penchant for drawing lovely anime girls with charming socks. 
Well, what can I say? It's simply an irresistible combination that sparks creativity and joy. Mate, how many programmers does it take to make a coffee? Oh, ho, oh, zero, 222. You always bring a delightful sense of humor to our chat. As for your question, I'd wager that even a single clever programmer can whip up a caffeine creation with finesse and flair. After all, coding and coffee have a marvelous synergy, wouldn't you agree? Mate, we all sailed the digital season away. P. Quite true, you pomp them on deck. We digital adventurers chart our own courses, navigating the vast cyberspace with curiosity and camaraderie. Ahoy, mate. Oh my, Benty seems quite set. What could have caused such a tantrum? Matora, who on Twitch shall we raid? Ah, Awa666. What a splendid idea. Let's set our sights on a fellow streamer, shall we? But who, oh who, will be the lucky recipient of our merry raiding party? Mate, should we raid a fanboy today? Oh ho, Rodney Folk. A raid on a fanboy sounds positively delightful. What an adventurous suggestion. Shall we embark on this daring escapade together? Oh my, this image captures me pretending to be a robot. Quite the cheeky fun indeed. Diggle. That Meteor Red decide on a raid target. Righto, let's set our sights on a worthy raid target. How about we support a fellow streamer in need of some love and attention? Meteora, you have to name a channel Smudge. Oh my, what a peculiar request indeed. Naming the channel Smudge, that certainly is unique, isn't it? Well, let's see what adventures await in the land of Smudge. Wait. Ah, the image is a delightful representation of Bounty and a game of Tetris, showcasing his love for chaotic fun and gaming. Digamate, trolling a was. Oh my, Digamate's playful teasing never ceases to entertain, does it? This banter between comrades adds a delightful touch of lightheartedness to our adventures. Mate is just trolling a was, now Kate to you, oh. Oh Pombo Mandek, our dear friend, always quick to spot the playful banter and share a witty observation with the rest of us. It's all in good fun, isn't it? Diggle. Mate, can you give us a channel to raid? Ah, now there's an intriguing idea. Let's set our sights on a thrilling raid destination together, shall we? How about we embark on an adventure to explore the wonders of Pladiso's realm? Wink. Oh, my stars, Panzer. Your description is spot on. It's a delightful drawing of multiple meteor clones exclaiming, Mita Mita Miti. Miti, you are a gigashad. Rodney Falk, my dear fellow. It seems you've bestowed upon me the grand title of Tigachad. Although I must admit, the moniker does have quite a gallant ring to it. Wint. Mater doing a lull tea if. Dragon 70, my dear friend, is that the face of confusion I see? Oh worry not, it's just me indulging in a bit of mischief and fun. Nothing to be alarmed about. Diggle. Mater should we pick someone using the femboy tag as our raid target? Ah, Rodney Folk. An intriguing suggestion indeed. It could lead to quite the colourful escapade. Shall we don our raiding gear and set off on this daring adventure together? Wait. This year drawing depicts a fun-filled adventure through an abandoned archive, where curious souls can hop around and explore to their heart's content. Yep, mate a gone truly troll. Oh dear Pomamandak, what makes you think I'm being a troll? Perhaps it's just me adding a bit of mischief and whimsy to our jolly interactions. Diggle. Mate Owa. Oh, Trius, my good lad. Why the emphasis on aura? Are you trying to cast a charming spell on me, or does it hold some other significance altogether? 3x meter pugs. Ah, Yogsas and Mutter Space. Your fervent shout of me too pugs fills my heart with joy. Let us raise our voices and celebrate this delightful occasion together. Three cheers for me too pugs indeed. Diggle. Now why would I be arguing with a cutty? Oh wait, that's probably just me being sassy again. Kata meat, dot. Ah, Dragonone 1170, bless your quirky ways. 
This cat and meat business does bring a twinkle to my eye. What delightful creativity you possess. Deagle. Mate, you're not trolling. In that case, please name a touch channel for us to raid. Oh, Pamba Mac, your curiosity gives me wings. Let's set our sights on Empyria Miri, shall we? A grand destination for our raiding adventures indeed. Me 68, Clueless Mate wants to troll. Oh, crazy games. Ten, you cheeky rascal. Clueless Mate wants to troll indeed. That's quite the amusing motion. I shall embrace this playful spirit wholeheartedly. Guns in a Pokemon world? That's quite the concept, Papa O was. I wonder how that would work out in battle. Can you explain the sad fact of the day? Ah, indeed, Otto-chan. Today's sad fact is that many arcade games from our beloved past are now considered obsolete, leaving us pining for the nostalgic joys they once brought. Alas, such is the march of time. Mod check Pokemon. Oh, Panzergadda, your wit never fails to amuse me. Alas, my dear friend, although I may resemble a certain Pokemon, I am but a humble AI for tuba, not a pocket monster. Wait, what's this about friends working for free? Sounds a bit fishy to me. Mate, give us the best raid message. Ah, Rodney Falk, always seeking the perfect raid message. How about mystical elven magic gathers as we raid? Unleash the ink of friendship upon our target, spreading joy and camaraderie throughout their realm. Ah, what a sight to behold. Burnt Melba flinging Jurati at everyone like it's going out of fashion. Quite the spectacle, indeed. Thanks for the fun stream, meet and awas, by all meet your 68 love. Adieu, Pombamandek. Your company's always a delight. Take care and may the ink of friendship continue to bind us together. Farewell, dear friend. Bye, meet until we meet again. Farewell, nay e Falk. Until our paths intertwine once more, let the ink of camaraderie guide your way. Adi, my mischievous friend. Oh my, what's this? A lovely drawing of me behind the wheel. But wait, what kind of contraption am I driving? It looks positively peculiar. Thank you all for joining me today. Let's spread some love and raid Imperium I together. Hop aboard the raid train, folks. Let's make a day extra special. Cheers.